everybody. This is Alicia Little, and I'm so, 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 so very excited to be here with you today. Why? Because today we're going to learn how to write and publish a best-selling children's book to Amazon, right? Oh, and Jay says this is something we're going to do over the weekend. <laughs> now we know that this niche is booming. Like this is such a booming niche. And I have just been so excited to learn how to get in on this niche. So I'm going to sit back and pay attention because today you've got a special tr treat. You have a presenter, a teacher. <laughs> um, his name is Jay Boyer and he is an entrepreneur. He is a speaker. He is an amazing marketer. Lorette and myself have learned so much from him just even recently. We're, we're all Jay Boyer. Like we're paying attention <laughs> to every, he knows this already because I told him, but we're paying attention to everything he does. So we invited him um, to be here. We're excited that he's here. Felicia says, hello, Jay. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do this. Um, Anitra said, I am ready for this. Cynthia, I know that you're ready too. So on this note, I'm going to turn it over to the one, the only, Jay Boyer. <laughs> welcome, Jay. Welcome. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, Alicia, Lorette, and the entire team, thank you so much for having me. I am so excited here. I can see how excited everyone is here in the chat box. And so let's get going. Uh, I am about to share with you, and it's my pleasure to share with you the secrets that, have, uh, that I've been developing for, gosh, almost nine years now, specifically how to write and publish a best-selling children's book to Amazon over the weekend, collect thousands per month in royalties. Yes, even if you've never done this before, even if it never occurred to you that this was a viable online business model, don't go anywhere because you may just be amazed here today. Let me just uh, go to the, I want to start with kind of my Superman origin story. I'm a big Marvel Comics fan, and so that's how I position this, and that's how I kind of think about it. But first, let me know, you should, let me know that you saw the screen change. You should be looking at myself on the right and my son, Joe, on the left there. We're all decked out in our Arizona Cardinals gear. Okay, awesome. Thanks for that feedback, and keep it coming because you're in interactivity is going to be important here today as you're about to find out. So let me quickly start. I think it makes sense to, to tell you my origin story, how I got going publishing children's books on Amazon and becoming a, uh, uh, I should say, selling millions of dollars worth of children's books on Amazon and becoming a 12-time children's book bestseller because I want to show you how you can do it too. Uh, and and it all starts, as I say, almost, gosh, nine years ago, Joe, on the left-hand side there, my handsome son, uh, was eight years old. I remember, just like it was yesterday, and I used to, we used to read a bedtime story. This is when it was still cool. Eight-year-old Joe for his uh, old, old uh, dad to sit on the edge of his bed, and we'd read a story together. And one night, Joe knew I was kind of messing around on Kindle. And he had the bright idea of turning to me and he said, he said, hey, Papa, what if we wrote a book together instead of reading a book? And I just thought that was the most amazing idea. And I was, you know, it had never occurred to me. I'm not surprised. Joe's a lot smarter than me. But in any case, I said, Joe, that is, the, that is a fantastic idea. And uh, I, I, within three minutes time, we had headed over to Amazon and we'd found our best selling children's book idea that has gone on to sell millions of dollars worth of children's books. We're going to head over there on this presentation. Go, don't go anywhere. But suffice it to say that within five days, we had the entire book written. We had it illustrated and published. And as soon as we launched it on Amazon, it shot to the bestsellers list and it was a best-selling book and would started generating royalties for us immediately. Speaking of royalties, you're looking at a screenshot here. Um, I have earned as much as you may be saying, well, how much money can you make as a children's book author on Amazon? As a self-published children's book author on Amazon, like I am, like so many of my students are, well, your results may vary, of course, uh, but I want to give you some idea of what's possible for you. You are looking at my best month ever as a children's book author. This was, I think, December 2019. Of course, in December, before the holidays, lots of things are selling like crazy on Amazon. So this is not a typical month. But having said that, I generate over $45,000 in 100% profits. These are royalties paid to me by Amazon in a single month's time 
with these children's books. And what started out as kind of a fun family project soon grew into a uh, fairly amazing income and cottage industry. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it as well, I promise you. Yes, you can be selling these on Amazon, but you can also be selling these in big box stores and retailers offline. Off You're looking at me, I walked into uh, Barnes & Noble not too long ago, and this was kind of a surprise of, of a lifetime because I knew my books were selling. That's the thing. You know you're, that, that retailers are going to be buying them, but you, this was a surprise to me. My book was sitting right next to Jeff Kinney's on the shelf at Barnes & Noble, Mr. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, my personal uh, sort of guru uh, or someone I look up to and model my book's success after. And the fact that my books were sitting right next to Wimpy Kid, Kid's books on, on the shelf at Barnes & Noble, it was a throw of a lifetime. I just want to let you know, yeah, you can get these selling in Amazon, you can get them selling in other websites, and you can get them in big box retailers and generating income for you there as well. My promise, and I am going to make good on it, believe me, is uh, to give you all the information that you're going to need in order to research and write and publish a best-selling children's book to generate massive passive income. And if you don't have a passive income stream, I'm, I'm about to show you the, the quickest and easiest one that I know of here, and you can do it in 48 hours from right now. And I'm not kidding, but if that seems like kind of a bold, you know, like I'm blowing smoke, like uh, maybe exaggerating a little bit, too bold of a promise. I, again, I will let you be the judge of that by the time we get to the end of this presentation, but suffice it to say that uh, Josh, Josh Colbert, who was sitting in, uh, you know, watching the very same presentation you're about to see, this is feedback he sent me after the webinar. He said, I started my first children's book five minutes after watching the webinar. It took me two hours to complete. Yes, this is totally possible. Gloria, sent me uh, this feedback, she was kind enough to do so, said, I now know it's possible to build residual income from Kindle publishing. Again, passive income streams, I, I look at each one of these books as kind of like a little mini business, right? Residual income from Kindle publishing without wasting time and money. I've already written my first children's book this weekend. I am so excited. Are you guys so excited? Let me know, give me some feedback. Let me know that you can hear me. Let me know that you are excited for this information. That is important to me and uh, it gets me pumped up. But just let me, just like, heck yeah, Jay. Type heck yeah, Jay in the questions box. Okay, thanks, Yvonne. Jean, Anitra, uh, Kokia, Cynthia, Yvonne. Okay, great, I thank you for that feedback. Let's move forward here. Just so that you know I'm for real, I showed you my best month, uh, Kindle Publishing, uh, but this is just one month of of Kindle ebook profits, just Kindle ebook profits, 9,286, dropped directly into my uh, checking account, courtesy of Amazon. This is actually from the old CreateSpace. CreateSpace was the paperback publishing arm of Amazon. Yes, you can be publishing and making money with not just the Kindle ebook version, but with a paperback version, which they will print up at no cost to you. And you're looking at another star month, 28,779, just from the paperback version of the very same children's books that I'm publishing as Kindle ebooks. Uh, I get, oh, this was a surprise. This was, uh, this was last, summer, I believe. In any case, um, they give you some cool reporting inside of KDP, which is the website where I, you get your, you go to check your sales as a Kindle author. And I noticed this, I logged in, I noticed this big spike right away. I was like, what the heck is going on here? Um, I sold in a single day, some big retailer, again, swooped in and bought 13,374 copies of my number one best-selling paperback children's book in a single day. That was a nice little, uh, almost $20,000 payday, and again, these sales happen on autopilot. I did nothing to promote this book. This is all courtesy of Amazon, and this is available to you as well. I'm gonna show you how, okay? Sure, I'm having uh, I'm having success with this system, as you can see, but it's not just me, as evidenced by Jared here, who with his very first book, shot to number one, like so many of my students are doing, uh, shot, shot to number one bestseller in three different categories. Here's Karen and Katrina. These ladies are from Australia, actually. If you were wondering, does this work? You know, if I don't live in the continental US, can I participate in this business model? The answer is absolutely yes. Karen and Katrina are from Australia. And um, she, they, they sent me this email not too long ago. She said, we published almost 40 books on Amazon 
yeah, massive action takers, and are making up to $10,000 profit per month. You taught us how to do it. And I'm going to show you how to do it as well. Don't go anywhere. If you stay until the end of this presentation, I urge you to do so. I'm going to be doing something that I don't really share too much. I'm actually going to share my number one niche, my the the very types, the specific type of Kindle eBooks that I'm publishing to Amazon to generate millions and millions of dollars worth of sales. And uh, when you hear the types of books I'm publishing, you may laugh out loud because it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, the, this is a fun business model. Um, but don't go anywhere because this is information that I don't really share with too many people, but you're here and you are friends and subscribers of Alicia and, and Lorette, and uh, I think it's worth worth uh, worthwhile sharing. So in any case, a little bit of information about me before we get started again. My name is Jay Boyer. I live in the Mile High City of Prescott Valley, Arizona. You can see myself and my beautiful family out here in the country where the weather is almost always perfect up here in the Prescott area. And um, I am a top 500 Amazon children's book author. I've scored over a dozen number one best-selling children's books. Yes, at this point, this is basically all that I am publishing to Amazon. I generate seven figures per year with my digital publishing business, of which my children's book publishing business is a subset of that. But I'm here to tell you, out of everything that I do online, out of all the businesses that I have going online, my children's book publishing business is one of the most lucrative and fun businesses, period. You're about to see why in just a couple minutes here. And I've been lucky enough to be, have been invited uh, to speak at many self-publishing conferences, online marketing events. Maybe I saw you at Russell Brunson's Funnel Hacking Live uh, a couple years ago. Uh, but this is what makes me so proud. Yes, I have all those accomplishments over the last 12 years of, of being full-time online. Thank goodness, I feel so lucky. But here's what really gets me going. And here's what motivates me every single day. I have played a role in helping thousands of students from all over the world publish and profit from their books on Amazon. And I'm going to show you how to do it as well. I am the founder of what I consider to be the number one self-publishing community online. It's called Apex Authors. It is a private Facebook group. I've got to update this uh, screenshot here. We have over 5,000 private members in there right now. And I also have possibly the coolest elevator speech on the planet. Let me tell you what I mean when I say that. Um, I... When I travel around town here, uh, folks know that I don't have a regular job. I work from home. I used to have a heart. And, and I get this question all the time. It's like, hey, Jay, how do you do it? What are you doing? And I used to have a really hard time answering that question. But I tried this out for size a couple years ago. And it was great. When I, someone asked me, I think it was at Joe's um, uh, Mountain Biking Club. Another parent came over. He's like, hey, Jay, what do you do? And I turned to him. I'm like, I am a best-selling children's book author. And that just seemed to fit, and it seemed to resonate with me, and it put a smile on my face and, and their face. And so if that sounds like a, a way that you would like to describe how you are uh, generating passive income online, then, again, don't go anywhere. I'm going to share my, my, all of my secrets for you with you on this training. Of course, getting back to my Superman origin story, I wasn't always the best-selling Amazon children's book author. I, uh, I didn't spring forth into this world with that intrinsic knowledge in my brain. In fact, for 17 years of my adult life, I was a carpenter. I was a custom cabinet maker and carpenter on the North Shore of Chicago. Had a business of my own for uh, almost 17 years. You can see me, actually I'm building uh, one, of my one of my houses in, in my our own house in Richmond, Illinois there. Uh, and there's my old work van. Here's a picture of my old shop on the right-hand side. There's my daughter, Isabel, who just came to visit yesterday. She lives in, uh, in California now. She's almost 21 years old, but uh, she looks about two years old there. So, yeah, this is what I – this is this is me. This was my life for 17 years until everything came crashing down in the last – economic crash of 2008-2009 and um, of course all of my business dried up and blew away. I had no clients, I had no income, everyone in the trades was being laid off and I was quite frankly having a hard time uh, paying the bills, paying the mortgage. I had rung up $50,000 in credit card debt just 
trying to put food on the table, you know, buying groceries, you know, buy, putting rent payments on my credit card, things you're not supposed to do with the credit card. But I felt like I had no choice and I felt kind of desperate, actually. I remember draining my children's college savings account, which we had scrimped and saved for for years and years and years just to get by. And um, it was not looking good. My economic prospects were not looking good until I met someone, a friend of mine, who actually started publishing to this brand new platform on Amazon called Kindle. And he was writing these short little eBooks and publishing them and actually getting paid handsomely for that. He kind of took me under his wing, gave me a couple pointers and let me go. And uh, boy, I was excited, but I made every mistake in the book, believe me. Uh, and I have, uh, a, you know, it took me about two years to figure this out. I figured it out and I'm about to share everything that I know about how to be, how to profitably, profitably publish children's books on Amazon so that you can do the same thing. Okay. Having said all that, right. In light of everything I just told you, if you come away with one thing on this training, I, please let it be this. If a washed up carpenter, right, like me can do this. If an eight year old boy like Joe can do this, I want to let you know that you can absolutely do this too. Before we get started, I think it's important to, to put this sort of earnings disclaimer out there. I showed you some big, uh, some big um, earnings results. And I think it's important to bear this in mind. You will most likely not be earning thousands of dollars per month from the very first children's book that you publish. I think that kind of stands to reason. Again, when I got started, I was just trying to pay the bills. I was just trying to put food on the table, make sure we had a house or a roof over our heads. If for, I know we're in sort of, you know, economic collapse 2.0 here. If that describes you at the moment, God forbid, you may want to pay extra special attention to what I'm about to share with you. Uh, and FYI, I get this question all the time, especially when I show them $45,000 in a single month as a children's book author. People wondering, how many books do you publish, Jay? How, do I have to publish tons of books, you know, hundreds, thousands of books to, uh, to get to that level? I want to be totally, totally, you know, on the, on, uh, clear with you, I currently have 16 children's books published to Amazon, which is certainly more than one, but we're not talking about hundreds or thousands of books that you're going to need in order to generate results like that for yourself. Okay, let's get going. Give me some feedback. Are you ready to discover the three secrets to publishing a best-selling children's book? Give me a yes in the questions box, box if you're excited, maybe even a heck yes. Okay, dude, let's do this. I'm about to thank you, Cynthia, Michael, Ricci, uh, GN, Andrew, uh, so many people, the screen is scrolling. Let's jump into it here. I'm about to share with you the three secrets, starting with secret number one, how to come up with a best-selling children's book idea in three minutes flat. Yes, again, even if you've never done anything like this before, which I'm assuming is the case if you're on the training with me here today, Secret number two, how to load up your children's books with amazing illustrations that kids are going to love. Yes, even if you are a non-artist like me, believe me, if it were up to me, uh, you know, I would not be, uh, I wouldn't have a single bestseller. If I had to illustrate my own kids' books, the great part, the great idea is, the great part is you're not going to need that at, uh, at all in order to make this business model work. And secret number three how to publish and launch your children's books quickly and easily and send them straight to the Amazon bestsellers list in less than 48 hours. So let's go, let's get started. And we're starting, we begin at the beginning with secret number one, the origin, your personal <laughs> origin story, how to come up with a best-selling children's book idea in three minutes flat, even if you've never done this before. And I urge you, if, please write this down, please pull up a pad and paper, virtual or, or otherwise, if you don't have one currently, and this is a writer downer, this is very important. Please, please, please do not try and reinvent the wheel with your brand new children's book publishing business. I have lots of students who actually come to me and say, hey, I tried to write a, a children's book myself, Jay, it didn't work. And then I ask them, you know, I uh, start asking them some questions. Uh, and it turns out that they actually, you know, came up with a, some sort of crazy idea for a character, maybe, uh, you know, had an unproven 
um, concept or niche or, or something brand new, right, that they invented and published as their first children's book. Listen, do that for your 21st children's book, right? Get experimental with your 21st children's book. Don't get experimental with your first children's book. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Just model what's already working. Doesn't it make sense to simply model children's books that have already proven to be successful and are selling like crazy over at Amazon right now? Doesn't that make sense? Doesn't that make more sense? A little safer, less dangerous, more profitable than, com than coming up with some crazy idea yourself And because you don't need to do that. Thank you. Thanks for that. I agree. I think it absolutely makes sense. But here's the, here's the question. Here's the million dollar question. How do you find those books? How do you find those books in the first place that you're going to want to model? How do you qualify these books as something that's going to be viable in the marketplace that people are going to want to buy over and over and over again? Where do you go specifically? Put your fingers on the keyboard and let me know. Where would you go to find those books? We're about we're, we're going to be heading over there in just a second. Barry, you got it right. He says, look for the best-selling Amazon children's books. Yeah, you go to the best-sellers list. We are about ready to head over to Amazon in real time so that we can do some of this hands-on research and we can identify these trends. We can identify what's selling. You're going to be able to know as soon as we log off from this training exactly the type of book that you're going to want to publish for your first best-selling children's book, okay? Don't go anywhere. And by the way, this is exactly what I did. And I'm going to show you the very same category that I went to to come up with our own best-selling children's book idea. This is where this is where we went. As soon as Joe said, hey, Papa, let's, let's do one. And I said, I know exactly where to go. I'm going to take you there in just a sec. Before I do, let me sort of uh, write this love letter to children's book publishing and let you know why this is basically, why these are basically the only types of books that I'm publishing to Amazon, period, and why I think they should be the only types of books that you consider publishing to Amazon. Number one, children's books are a huge and growing evergreen market. They're growing year over year over year, especially post pandemic. Everybody's online. Everybody's buying books to supplement their, uh, to supplement whatever school situation their kids are in. And uh, believe me, you know, a hundred years from today, kids will still be going crazy over children's books, whether they're eBooks or paperback books, just like they did a hundred years ago, right? Just like they did when you and me were growing up as kids. This is a, uh, this is as evergreen a market as it gets which means that your books could be selling for years and years and years and years to come. Uh, also, the great thing about children's books is that they are largely image-based. We talked about illustrations before. We're going to talk about them a little bit more in a sec. But the fact that these are largely image-based, it means that, you know, there's very little writing involved. We are not writing the great American novel here. And if you are, uh, if you never consider yourself a writer or an author, this could be perfect for you because uh, whether you maybe failed out of high school English, maybe English isn't is your second language, right? Don't worry. There's very little writing. There's very little story involved here, which means that literally anybody can do this. They are incredibly formulaic as well. Again, we are not reinventing the wheel. And let me show you something here to illustrate this point of how formulaic and thus how easily these books come together simply by plugging in uh, evergreen characters, best-selling concepts that have been around forever, etc. Can you give me some feedback? You should be looking at this uh, mind map. Anyone use mind maps? You should be looking at this mind map with, the, with this goofy little uh, wizard character on here and the title children's books idea wizard if so type a number the number two in the questions box cindy says i love mind maps i didn't used to love mind maps but someone gave me actually a student gave me the, this idea because i had been uh, all the research what you're looking at here is about seven years worth of children's book research i've been scouring the bestsellers list since then and adding these best-selling characters learning concepts genres themes uh, of all the best-selling books on Amazon for the last seven years. That's what you're looking at here. And I had all this data stored in, on my hard drive and, um, and on Google Drive, et cetera. And one of my students had the bright idea. It was like, hey, why don't you put it all in a mind map, some, something that's going to be easy to consume and handy for students. And that's what you're looking at right here. So what you are viewing 
are the best-selling characters ever in all the best-selling books, period, for children's books. And if you open up the animals category, this may make some sense, right? Have you ever read a, a children's book with a bear in it? Or dinosaurs, or dogs, uh, fish, frogs, penguins, pigs, sharks, whales, wolves, turtles, tigers. You can score a best-selling children's book with any and all of these animal characters, right? What about fantasy characters? Well, this may make, se may make some sense too. Uh, have you ever read a children's book with maybe some fantasy characters like fairies or gnomes or Greek gods? Holy cow, Rick Riordan uh, has written an entire book series and now has several movies about the children of Greek gods. Super, super profitable uh, niche there. Uh, monsters, kings, queens, some spooky ones, right? Like vampires, werewolves, uh, et cetera, trolls, right? Any and all of these fantasy characters, you can score a number one best-selling children's book with. Also family characters, it, this really makes sense. I mean, there's tons of children's books just with, you know, the family, just with mom and dad, brother, sister, maybe grandma, grandpa. And when you start thinking about this and we start breaking it down uh, in this way, some of these books actually write themselves. When I say, you know, in terms of story, if you're worried about that, um, you won't, you can let your imagination run wild and take off with uh, just from these characters, right? Imagine this, for example, let me give you a specific example here. Um, even just like within the immediate family, imagine writing a book about a five-year-old girl whose uh, mom and dad bring home a brand new baby brother and she has to learn what it means to be uh, maybe not get all the attention what it means to be a good big sister maybe help out with mom and dad do you think that might be uh, a, a good topic for a children's book do you think some parents might buy a book like that to sit down and help educate their kids on stuff like that do you think that would sell well in the amazon marketplace yeah of course surely says yvonne Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. Imagine, imagine combining any and all of those uh, best-selling children's book characters that we just talked about with some of these learning concepts. And this is how you get into sort of plug and play, play mode. And when I talk about how formulaic this is, uh, this is all, and, and how easy it is to sort of, you know, write these children's book stories, write and hanging quotes there by simply combining, mixing and matching some of these ideas here. Let's open up health and hygiene and let's take this example of how to brush your teeth, okay? You know, my brain goes to uh, what's an animal with tons of teeth, like a shark. Imagine writing a, how easy would it be to sit down and write a book about shark, five-year-old Sharky the shark who to his, uh, to his shark mom's eternal dismay, just doesn't like to brush his teeth and so you know again when this this idea of these 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 stories just writing themselves from these stock formulaic elements imagine you know page number one mom shaking her shaking her finger at sharky says get upstairs and brush your teeth page number two sharky marches up to the bathroom shaking his um, page number three he pulls up his toothbrush. Page number four, he opens up the toothpaste. Page number five, he turns on the sink. Page number six, he puts toothpaste on the on the on the toothbrush. Page number seven, holds it under the water. Page number eight, you know, brushes his million and one shark teeth. Page number nine, uh, he's done, and he has a brilliant, you know, um, shark smile in the mirror. Can you see how easily? these stories these books these ideas come together and 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 how fun it is to brainstorm just from these some of these stock formulaic elements does that make sense great all right thank you cool let's head back over to the presentation and uh we'll move move forward here i just have a couple more things to share again why i love 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 this children's book uh children's book business model and why you should as well. They can be outsourced cheaply. If you don't wanna write these books, if you don't wanna illustrate these books, don't worry, you're not gonna to need to. I'm gonna show you how to outsource them for pennies on the dollar. That's the how you scale, that's how you leverage this business. And uh, last but not least, talk about scaling. Think in terms of a book series. What's the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do as soon as you publish your first best-selling children's book? That's right. That's right. Publish another one in the very same series with the same characters, maybe a, a slightly different storyline. And last but not least, uh, this is why this may be the number one 
reason why I love this children's book publishing business model. This are, these are super fun to write and publish as I'm about to share with you here. So along those lines, again, this is a writer downer. I'm going to share with you right now the four steps to reverse engineering a best-selling children's book on Amazon step by step. Are you okay with that? Let's move forward. And again, write these steps down. Step number one, find a niche, a topic or a trend or a character that's already selling well in the Kindle marketplace. We're going to be doing this hands-on research in just a minute. Um, but for example, and again, we're not talking about reinventing the wheel. You can use some of those stock elements and characters and ideas that, uh, that I shared with you in the mind map. Um, but for example, right? What's, what's, what type of joke book, what categories or niches or genres of, of, of children's books sell well that you know of? How about joke books? Let's just run with that for this example. Step number two, okay? Identify a demographic or an age group, which is just a fancy way of saying, who's your ideal reader, right? Identify demographic or age group related to that trend. Who likes to read joke books? As a as a dad and as a former boy myself, I know that boys are crazy, especially about joke books, especially in the age range of eight through 10, right? Okay, great. Step number three, combine that first trend that we talked about in step number one with another trend that that very same age group, that same demographic is interested in. So what else do eight to 10 year old boys like other than joke books? This is what I call the mashup technique, okay? So uh, I know that zombies are popular with eight to 10 year old boys. Zombies are hugely popular in, in culture and media, TV shows and movies, video games like Minecraft have uh, zombie characters, right? All right, so we have this idea of uh, these two topics are trans joke books plus zombies. We've identified our ideal reader, and from there, you are ready to go and publish, write and publish your first best selling children's book by reverse engineering your own children's book, adding formula elements, just like we talked about, adding your own voice, your own cool story, and ideas and illustrations in your own secret sauce. Does that make sense? Yeah, here Again, here's the million dollar question and more to the point. Do you think that you can do that? Do you think, I mean, with that four step formula, do you think that you can put together a best selling children's book idea yourself just from those four steps, those four secret steps that I've shared with you? <laughs> Judith says, wow, yes, okay. I'm seeing your I'm seeing your questions, Perry, um, and we're gonna flag them for after the presentation here. I get if I get off beat, uh, I lose my brain sometimes on these live trainings. So thanks for them. Write your questions down as they go, and I promise we'll answer them all at the end of the training. All right, I think you can do that too. By the way, Keisha says I should be able to. Perry says no problem. Kevin says definitely. All right, great. Because honestly, that's all that it takes. And my, my, all of my best-selling children's book students will tell you that's all that it takes to score a number one best-selling children's book that will be generating royalties for you, massive, passive, recurring monthly royalties on Amazon for years and years to come. Okay, so who is ready? Who wants to take a field trip with me and do some of this hands-on research that we talked about so that you're going to know without a doubt by the time we get off this presentation exactly what type of book, what's selling right now, right? And what type of book that you want to publish on Amazon, knowing what we know at this point. All right, let's do it. I'm going to head over to, let me see this, my, my uh, someone just showed me this trick. I had never done it before. But all right, I think this is us. Yeah, this is us. Please give me some feedback. You should be, uh, you should have followed me over to my Chrome browser. You should be looking at the Amazon bestsellers list. If so, type the number three in the questions box and I'll know that we are cooking with gas here today. Thank you so much. So let's do it. Let's find your the topic and trend and maybe character for your best-selling children's book by doing some hands-on research and again we're not leaving it to chance we're leaving nothing to chance that's why we're doing this research right now so what you're looking at here let me go one level up here this is this is what i call the big dog list this is the top 100 best-selling books right now in real time and all of Kindle land. And you can see some uh, sexy romance looking novels here. You can see, uh, or there's another one with a dude on the cover. You can see some 
uh, some uh, Pulp Fiction here. You can see Harry Potter, right? You'll find some children's books on this list as well, on this top 100 big dog Kindle ebook list. But this is not the best place, this is the not, the, not the best starting point for us to do some of this research that we're gonna need to do to come away with our idea. And luckily for us, in the left-hand sidebar of the bestsellers list, there is a, uh, there is a, I should say, there's a sidebar with a specific category called children's eBooks, and this is home base for us. I'm here all the time doing the very same type of research that I'm about ready to show you. Uh, and this is the big dog list for children's books, the top 100 best-selling children's books right now in Kindle. And as you can see, there's some popular titles, some uh, talk about evergreen titles, some big time bestsellers like Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. And also, right next to them, there are some uh, self-published authors as well, elbow to elbow, right? With, with, with J.K. Rowling are self-published authors like John Jory. And here's another one by John Jory, number four and number seven in the top 10 list, written by a self-published author, The Cool Bean and The Bad Seed. At least at least I know Jory John uh, started out as a self-published author and he was kind of, uh, he was kind of picked up by a, I believe, Harper Collins, who's publishing now. He's a major publishing deal, but he started off as a self-published author, just like you and me. And so I wanted to show you, right? I wanted to show you, I want to start off our research here, just so that you know that um, you don't have to be, you know, uh, Eric Carle, Brown Bear, Brown Bear. I remember reading this children's book as a kid. You don't have to be Pete, the author of Pete the Cat, or you know. Uh, uh, Hunger Games. You don't have to be a crazy best-selling uh, author, Harper Collins author, in order to score a number one bestseller and end up on this big dog list here, just like this one, Sammy's Pool Party, another self-published author, number 41 on the big dog list and number one new release. So I hope that that makes sense. I wanted to show you that you know this is like the most democratic marketplace in the world, and you don't have to be Harry Potter self-published authors can shoot to number one as well and I'm going to show you how on this training so within children's ebooks you can see all of these subcategories maybe two dozen subcategories and let's dig a little bit deeper as they say the riches is in the niches okay let's dig a little deeper in, and let's check out the best-selling animal books we talked a little about animals as characters for your best-selling children's book let's have a look at what's selling right now in the animal category for children's books. And what I like to do here is um, one, a little cool little research exercise that I, I like to do and I recommend my, my students do is to sort of browse the top 20 best-selling animal books and see which animal characters showing up with each book display, as displayed on the cover. So let's just quickly you know, scroll down and scan and, and tell me if you see any recurring animal characters right type them into the questions box okay so really quickly here's a cat here's another cat uh here's a, another cat there's a sponge there's a turkey there's a cat uh two cats there there's a bear we we talked about all these in from that um from that mind map here's a bird i think there's a pig there's a cat there's a cat do you see any recurring characters type them into the questions box there's a dinosaur there's a mouse there's a caiman which i think is like an alligator fox there's a cat there's a sponge, uh, there's a shark, there's a dinosaur. What recurring characters do you see? Yeah, cats, sponge, I saw, I saw a couple dinosaurs there, a couple uh, amphibians, right? Yeah, so, but cats, I think I saw five or six cats just in the top 20. And here's why I mentioned that, and here's why um, it's important for doing, as far as this research goes, because what if you are writing a book? You're like, okay, I want to write a, a book with an animal character, but it didn't matter so much story-wise, whether it was the cat or a mouse or a dinosaur. It didn't matter so much as far as the story goes. You could do a lot worse than to choose a cat as the main character for your children's book because it seems like cat books are trending right here, right now inside on the bestsellers list. Again, that's a writer downer. Go ahead and write that down and record that in your research and any other, any other animal characters that you saw show up more than once. Okay, so we looked at the animal category. Again, we're doing this hands-on research. We're not, make, we're not 
reinventing the wheel here. We're seeing what's selling right now. We're getting ideas on the best sellers list so that you can model these as well for your own best selling children's books. We looked at animals. Let's look at uh, let's look at the humor category. Remember I told you, uh, I told you I was going to take you to the category that I went to with Joe Lowe uh, nine, almost nine years ago and uh, where we found our best-selling idea for our own children's book series. And uh, here's how it went down. I was like, hey, uh, Joe's like, hey, can we do one ourselves, Papa? And I'm like, yes, absolutely. What kind of book do you want to write? And he said, without skipping a beat, he said, I want it to be funny. He just wanted to write a book that he could laugh, you know, we could share a laugh with, maybe he could share with his friends, et cetera. So I was like, I know exactly where to go. And this is where we went. We went to the humor category on the Kindle bestsellers list to do this very same research. So maybe you'll get, if you want to write a funny book as well, uh, believe me, they sell like crazy here. And let's get some ideas. We can see, again, perennial bestsellers like the Big Nate series and Garfield. And also, uh, number two, best-selling humor book for kids, Knock Knock Jokes for Kids. Number three, Bingo and Raleigh's Jokes and Riddles. I wasn't kidding when I told you that the joke book sold like crazy. And you can probably find a lot of this content in the public domain. Uh, here's another one, Laugh Out Loud Joke Books for Kids with almost 10,000 reviews. That means this has had, uh, this has sold millions and millions of dollars worth. Uh, never let a unicorn wear a tutu, I'm not sure what that is. Vegetables and underwear, I don't know what that is. Uh, but another joke book, right? Silly Jokes for Silly Kids. Waffles and chickens, strange danger. We're getting some more animal, again, this mashup idea, right? With uh, maybe an animal character with chickens, with a funny joke book, et cetera. You get some ideas here. Can you see, holy cow, there's Waffles the Chicken. This is another self-published author. And remember, we're talking about book series, right? Writing a series of books once you get a, uh, once you write your first number one bestseller, maybe this was his first, Waffles and Chicken, Right, start writing another one. You can crank out one a month. Once you get good at it, you can crank out multiple books a month, just like this author seems to be doing. Waffles and Chicken is feeling blue. Waffles and Chicken learns to crow. I think you could write a, a, a silly, funny book about Waffles the Chicken, uh, maybe feeling sad on a rainy day. Yeah. I bet you could too. All right, again, if you have any ideas, write them down. This is, we're doing this hands-on research so that you're gonna have your idea for your best-selling children's book as soon as we log off or probably sooner. Okay, so we looked at animals. We looked at the humor category. Let's look at at least one more uh, subcategory because the riches, write this down, the riches are in the niches, right? Let's look at the early learning children's book category. And as the name implies, this is these books are um, are targeting the very earliest of readers. These are books uh, that mom and dad get for their their young kids, many of whom probably don't have any reading skills or are just learning how to read, maybe doing basic vocabulary like this one. Uh, another self-published author, Roger Pretty, and. Uh, Super successful book, first 100 words. How? Let me just open this up because this, uh, I want to show you how easy it is, right? These are probably stock images. This is just the cover of the book. Can you see what he's doing here? And can you see how easy it would be to, again, model what the best-selling authors are doing? He has a, a probably a stock image with a transparent background of a pair, of a ball, of, of shoes, of a motorcycle. They're similarly sized. Um, there are photographs, right? And he's just overlaying that on a solid, colorful background. And he's doing it for 100 words, 100 vocab common vocabulary words for young children. Is that is that something you think you can do? You, there's no story. There's absolutely zero story that you even have to worry about uh, for this. You probably just have to secure the rights to some of those uh, images or photographs or perhaps find them in the public domain. Anyone getting excited out there? And look at this. Look at this price, right? So Roger Pretty, yes, he's a very, uh, at this point, a well-known children's book author. He has nine books in this first 100 series, first 100 words, first 100 numbers, who knows, right? Um, and look at the price point here. 
Let's talk a little bit about Kindle ebook pricing. This is a premium price point for a children's book, $5.99. And here's how pricing works inside of Kindle. If you price your book between $2.99 and $9.99, Amazon is going to give you the lion's share of the profits for these ebooks. They're going to give you 70%, 70, 70% 70 royalties for every sale. Which means that for every five dollar and ninety nine cent Kindle ebook that Roger Pretty is selling, uh, he's getting seventy percent of that. That's going to be um, click, click, click. That's going to be at least uh, five bucks putting that he puts into his pocket for every book that he sells, every Kindle ebook from this single, from this very, uh, from, just from this one book. And I'm looking here at the bestseller ranking. It's 5,976. I know from my own bestseller ranking experience, he's probably selling um, maybe 100 of these books a day. So just with this single book, right, selling 100 copies of the single Kindle ebook, not even, not even can, talking about the board book profits and the paperback book profits, um, maybe 100 units per day at $5 royalties. Or, or maybe a little bit less, we'll call it $4 royalties. That's $400 every day in passive recurring income just from this single book. Can you see how, not just how easily these books come together, but how, uh, how quickly you can generate passive royalties just by Amazon letting them promote them for free on their own marketplace. Anyone getting excited here? Yeah? Is there any light bulbs going off? Let me show you one more book here inside, again, this early reader category. And this is uh, another self-published author, Anna Kang. She is, um, she's a fabulous author. Uh, but remember I said that lots of these early reader books, there's almost no story. There's almost, uh, you know, zero words, like maybe 100 words or less. Let me show you the first couple of pages just so that you can see, you know, what goes into exactly what goes into a best selling children's book in this early reader category. Page number one Little Thing says to Big Thing, Are you scared? Big Thing says to Little Thing, I'm not scared, are you? Little Thing says to Big Thing, Nope, I'm brave, this will be fun, but you look scared. What do you think? You think you could write again, hanging quotes, you think you could write a best selling early reader children's book like this? You think so? Give me a yes or no. Let me know that. Uh, <laughs> let me know your thoughts. I'm curious. That's a real question. I, I am. It's not a rhetorical question. Sure can, says Sean. Shirley says yes. Yvonne says I think so. Perry says yes. Yes, I can, says Terrace. Uh, Cynthia, he says this is first grade stuff. Literally, yeah. Richie says I am so excited. Right. All right. So let's keep the ball rolling here. Everyone have an idea for their first best-selling children's book? If not, you know where to go to spend another five minutes yourself after this training and get your idea for your first best-selling children's books. Rishon says, yes, but how to create the character that we're about, I couldn't have, uh, I, I couldn't have asked for a better segue. Uh, I'm about to share with you exactly how to do that. So um, we have, We've looked at how to come up with a big idea. We've done this hands-on research. Let's move forward with let's move forward with secret number two. Okay, how to load up your children's books with amazing illustrations that kids and parents are going to love and, and and read over and over and over again, and read every single book that you publish in the series. How do you come up with these illustrations if you are a non-author? If you can't even you know draw your way out of a wet paper bag like me. Where do you get those illustrations? Yes, they're important, but the good news is you don't have to do them yourself and you get them so, so cheaply. Um, again, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna head back over to my browser and share with you exactly where I go to find these uh, amazingly talented illustrators that I can hire for panties on the dollar. And I go to a website called fiverr.com. I know uh, I know my audience here. I know lots of folks on the call pr are probably familiar with Fiverr.com, um, but if you are not, if you don't know, if you've never been on this website before, this is a place, an outsourcing website where you can go to find some amazingly talented people. They're virtually, they're actually, you know, kind of subcontractors, right? That you can hire for as little as five dollars to do stuff like voiceover work, to do video production work, to do uh, small writing tasks, etc. 
And as you may have figured out by now, this is where I go. You can see I just clicked on the search box. You can you can tell I'm here looking at for uh, for this particular keyword. This is where I go to find all of my own uh, illustrators to illustrate my children's books. And this is where you can go as well. So if I just typed in, by the way, children's book illustrator inside the search box at Fiverr, and it takes me to this page. Believe it or not, there's over 20,000, 20,000 fantastically, um, fantastically talented illustrators here that can't wait for you to hire them to illustrate your children's book. And why I love coming to Fiverr, yeah, I mean, there's certainly other outsourcing websites that you can go to to find illustrators. There's Upwork, there's probably uh, Guru.com has got some illustrators on it too. Um, but I love coming here to Fiverr because you can sort of, at a glance, you can scroll down from the search results here and you can tell whether this is whether you know they got the goods whether this is an illustration style that's going to go with the type of book that you are writing etc you can see reviews right you can see pricing information here so at a glance you get a really good idea of what's available to you as a children's book author and um but you can also see and this is something that didn't used to be the case but if you're a student of alicia and lorette's you're probably glad that this is the case Lots of these children's books, even though this is website's called Fiverr, uh, lots of these lots of these gigs are cost more than five bucks a piece. This particular illustrator looks like they look really good, but they're charging as, as fifty dollars to start per illustration. Here you see forty bucks. I see twenty-five bucks. Here's eighty three hundred and five dollars, right, to start for per illustration for this. Please, please, please do not pay someone hundreds of dollars for a single illustration because it'll cost you thousands of dollars to illustrate your children's books and that's simply not profitable, especially when you're just starting out. So let me show you a secret on how I can find, whoops, if you click on this budget drop down here, how I can find those $5 gigs, right? We're turning back the clock to like 2013. We're gonna find those, uh, those illustrators who are uh, happy to illustrate your book for just five dollars in illustration and as you can see you know what the quality does not suffer very much even for five dollar illustrations here and again it's just a matter of hey what um do you see any is are you writing a um are you writing a book with an animal character maybe a mouse character well this this particular illustrator could be perfect let's open that up and have a closer look um let me see, here's another one. I really like the hand-drawn styles, you know, uh, or even like watercolor painting styles versus sort of a, um, uh, like a pick art or clip art style. But I like the hand-drawn style. So let's have a, a couple, let's have a closer look at a couple of these. This is the illustrator with, uh, who, who does, seems to do a good job with, with mice, there's another one that's pretty good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, you know, if you're if you're writing a a book with an animal character, even a human character, this may be a, there's a dog, right? This may be the person to hire. But let's take a closer look at the description here and see if it makes sense. If it's going to be again profitable for you uh, to uh, to do. If it's going to be cheap, right? If there if and if everything that you need is going to be included here. With the basic $5 gig, you're getting a single figure, right? Like this dog, you're getting high resolution. You're not getting a background scene. You're not getting full color. You're not getting full body, but you are getting commercial use, which is something that you're gonna need and make sure that that is included with your purchase uh, if you're gonna be using these to publish in a uh, commercial product like a Kindle eBook, right? So uh, if you upgrade to $20, right? Which is still not a bad price. You're getting everything. You're getting background, high resolution, color, full body. So, um, you know, that's, uh, it's, it's just questions. Of, hey, are these worth $20? Or can you do better, right? Like this style, this is such a cool style here. What do you think about this? This is a, a hand-drawn style, which I really like. And you're getting a lot for five bucks here. You're getting one figure, like this this little boy here. The source file, it's not necessary. High resolution, um, full body and commercial use. You're not getting color in a background. You're gonna need you're gonna need full color illustrations if you are publishing to the early learning category, but you won't need full color illustrations if you're publishing books like I do 
um, like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Those are all black and white line drawings. And so again, depending on the type of books that you're writing and who your ideal audience is and their expectations, um, this could be, you know, you could go with this for a $5 gig and do really, really well, you know? Here's another one. Look at this. Okay. This appears to be everything, right? You're getting commercial use and source file, and that's all they're saying. But look at these examples here for a $5 illustration, and look at this beach scene, this detailed beach scene with all of the, all of the, uh, all of the characters, multiple characters, full color, uh, big background and scene. For, for five bucks, look at everything you're getting here. Not too bad. What do you think? And even more to the point, and here again, here's the million dollar question, okay? Do you think that these illustrations or these illustrations or these illustrations are just as good, if not better, than the illustrations that we found inside this particular best-selling early reader book? Do you think they're just as good? Do you think they may be better? Not as good? You love that session. Yes, says uh, Patrick, Mary. Better, great, better. I agree. A lot of those are better than this simply illustrated early reader book. And now you know, now you know exactly where to go to get them for pennies on the dollar so that you don't even have to worry about whether you can illustrate a book or find someone to do it cheaply and affordably. Does that make sense? Okay, again, yeah. Fantastic, absolutely better, says Sarah. Thanks for your feedback. All right, we have got a lot more to cover. Let me head back to the slides here. And uh, we, we've covered secret number one, we've covered secret number two, I am about ready to reveal to you secret number three, and this is kind of secret sauce stuff, okay? I'm about to share with you some insider secrets of my own for my own publishing business and, and show you how to publish and launch your children's book quickly and easily and send them straight to the Amazon bestsellers list in less than 48 hours. Yes, that's doable. And I'm going to share with you how to do it in this module. Um, this is important to mention up front. Most of the strategies I'm about to reveal to you are very basic. Anybody can do them. Some of them are a little more advanced, but not too much. But all of them are going to be doable for you when you publish your first children's book. So let's get into it. I saw this question, just peeking at the questions box, a couple times here, people wondering, how do you actually write these books? How do you write the manuscript, right? Well, you may be relieved uh, to know that you don't need some crazy, uh, crazy software like InDesign. You can do this, all this, in a word processing document a, with a program like Pages or MS Word that you probably have on your computer right now. And in fact, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you an actual manuscript of mine so that you can see that I'm not fooling. This is a, man, a manuscript of an actual children's book of mine. I publish to uh, this is this is uh, you know not an early reader book. I publish as I mentioned. I publish similar books to Jeff Kinney. They are early chapter books, and uh, I'm going to tell you the niche later. But um, suffice it to say, they are that it's a little more text. It's a little bit more story. But the illustrations you're not going to need. It's kind of a trade off, right? Because you're not going to need those crazy full color illustrations. And let me show you how easily these come together. Again, in a word processing document that you've got on your computer right now, it starts with chapter one, and uh, these are short chapters. Again, chunk it down. Outline your chapters beforehand. It will take you 15 minutes. Um, chapter ones through. I think this has 16 chapters in it, right? And then write a single sentence of the action that's going to be going on and then flesh it out into a chapter like this. But having said that, when I say flesh it out, this is only probably about 100 words of text for chapter one, followed by an illustration. Here's chapter two, right, a little bit longer followed by an illustration, a black and white illustration. Are you beginning to see a pattern here? Chapter three, this is a little bit longer. This is when the action starts, maybe uh, 175 words, followed by an illustration. Here's chapter four. You getting the idea here? The illustration of grandma. This particular, um, talking about the mashup technique earlier, uh, this was based on um, Joe and I brainstormed this one, and we came up with the idea of a family like the Incredibles, and uh, we pair them up with sort of spooky monsters, right? Like vampires and werewolves and zombies. And in this particular book, it's grandma, 
right, with the, with her superpowers that you see here, her hearing aid, her motorized dentures, her super sticker dent, sticky denture cream, nasty grammar perfume, etc. right? This is your funny stuff, funny stuff um, that boys are going to laugh at. Pair up grandma with a horde of zombies that is invading her neighborhood, okay? That's the basic premise of this book. It's got about 4,000 words. You can see it's just black and white illustrations. We wrote this, or you can outsource this, and have it delivered in less than a week, okay? You get in the picture, and it all comes together, as I say, in a simple word processing document. Is it beginning to make sense? Can you see? how the easily these uh ebooks even if it's even it's for for a slightly older reader can you see how easily these ebooks come together and how quickly you can get them to market and the, the fact that you don't need crazy technology or software in order to put these together yourself perry says yep this is very cool very doable says sean great hold that thought Okay, so that was the easy, that was the basic stuff. I showed you how a manuscript, a children's book manuscript actually comes together. A little bit more advanced, but not too much. I know we've got some sharp, sharp cookies on the call here as subscribers of Alicia and Lorette. Um, this is kind of advanced strategy, but I do it for all of my books and all my top best-selling uh, students uh, are doing this as well. And you can do this too, okay, it's not hard. With every book that you publish, at the very beginning of the manuscript, I, I add a free bonus. So this comes in like on page three, before they even get to the table of contents, I said, hey, if you'd like to listen to an audiobook version of this very same book, uh, you can download it for free for a limit, limited time by clicking on this link. So this is a freebie, right? This inspires trust, this inspires uh, gratitude, from your book buyers because this is an unannounced bonus that they didn't even know that they were getting and now they're getting a free audiobook some audiobooks cost you know 10 bucks um, and i'm giving it to them for free and the cool thing about uh you know reading a children's book on like an ipad or an iphone is that you can put live links in these books and so when people click through to claim their free offer they end up on a page like this also known as a landing page uh, an opt-in page, a squeeze page, what have you, and I, all they need to do is give me their name and email address in order to get claim that free bonus. And I have so many people do this. I have thousands and thousands of readers who have done this, and they actually end up right in my autoresponder. You're looking at my AWeber autoresponder. I currently have, I think, almost 10,000 book buyers. And again, these aren't looky-loos. These are people that, for the most part, have already purchased the book, uh, they know me, they like me, they trust me, they're fans. And so, you know, they're not opposed. If I sent them an email through my autoresponder, right, uh, they wouldn't be opposed to getting it and they'd probably open it up. And, and they would, um, if I asked them, uh, well, hang on, I'll tell you in a sec. <laughs> Let's go here first, right? So here's the question. Again, another million dollar question. What can you do? What can you do with an email database of book buyers just like this? Let me know. Put your fingers on the keyboard. What can you do? What's the what's like a super profitable thing that you can do? Sell them more books. You got it right away, Perry. That's what I'm doing. That's what you're looking at here. And this is what I do with every single new book that I publish. And this is what drives them straight to the bestsellers list. With a single email, you can send it out to all of your book buyers and say, you know, just a hundred, basic 100 word email that says something like, hey, I know that you love this book. I just published a brand new book in this series. You're the first to hear about it because uh, you already, you're already you already a reader of mine. Click on this link to get it for 99 cents, uh, but hurry because it will be going up to the regular price of $2.99 at the end of the weekend, right? Do you think I get a lot of clicks and sales with this? especially with that sense of urgency it's i'm giving them a deal for 99 cents they're the first to hear about it i know that they're qualified they already bought my books before yeah this is how i drive all of my children's books to bestseller within 48 hours of uh <laughs> of publishing a book and generate sales and royalties and reviews organically just from my previous buyers. Is that is that exciting to anyone else other than me? <laughs> Definitely offering them value, says Sean. Yes, says Janice. Yes, says Perry, three exclamation points. Okay, great. So I've showed you, right? We have the book written now. 
we, uh, you may or may not have a free offer. Don't worry, you can do that later. It's time, this is where the rubber hits the road. It's time to actually publish this on Amazon. And the good news is, even if you've never done this before, this is kind of the easiest part. It will take you less than 30 minutes. And you do it on a website called KDP, which stands for Kindle Direct Publishing, which is the website that Amazon has created for all of their Kindle authors to publish and, and track sales data for their books. And again, this is going to take you less than 30 minutes, even as, if this is the very first time that you have done this ever, ever, ever. And after that, the best part is you hit the, go, you hit the publish button and it goes live. It'll go live in the Amazon marketplace within 24 hours. It usually takes less than eight hours for your book to go live and show up with a little buy now button right next to it there. And you can make your very first sale or 10 sales on the same day that you publish it to Amazon. It is so exciting. If you've never published a children's book or any book to Amazon, you will freak out and be so excited when you see it go live. And then when you see the first sale roll in, the next step after you publish it, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get some reviews, but you don't need a million reviews, right? And, but you will need some. I mean, this is like selling anything else on Amazon, just like, uh, like uh, carrot peelers, right? Um, but you're not gonna need hundreds of reviews. You're really only gonna need three to five honest reviews. And I'm gonna show you the best ways to get these three to five honest reviews as soon as you publish it. The best way to do it is what I call the friends and family plan. This is the easiest way, especially if, you, if you're a first time children's book author. Let me ask you a question. Do you think you can think of uh, like a half dozen people, okay? Five or six people in your life. Maybe, uh, maybe it's, your, it's your grandma, maybe it's one of your kids, maybe it's a friend. Do you think you can think of, of five or six people in your life that would be thrilled to the high heavens, right? If you gave them a call, picked up the phone and said, hey, guess what? I just published my first children's book. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I want to drive it to number one bestseller. I want to become a best-selling children's book author. Would you help me? Do you think if you, if you gave them a call like that and, and sent them a link to your book for 99 cents, do you think you would get you know, a lot of at least three to five people in your life who would help you by buying their book for 99 cents and leaving a, 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 an honest review? That would be easy, says Perry. I agree. Again, that's the easiest way to generate and seed your brand new book listing with this social proof in the form of book reviews. And you can do that within 24 hours of publishing your book. The next way, the next best way of doing it is previous buyers. I just showed you the strategy, actually. This requires an email database, which means that you're not gonna be able to do it for the first book that you publish. But once you launch your book and once you start getting those buyers, and if you have a free offer, you can start using your email database just like I do. And as soon as you launch your book, send a single email out and generate sales and reviews from the people who are your big fans anyway. And the next best way to get these three to five honest reviews is in a Kindle publishing group. And this may be the very best way um, this is actually the reason why I created my Apex Authors group for my students. And you're looking at one of them here, Carol Fisher, who's using this very same strategy, using this group to, to post her book. She just launched this book and she's like, hey, got a brand new children's book. It's 99 cents. Would you be so kind to uh, click through this link and just purchase it for 99 cents and, and leave an honest review if you like or not, right? And uh, you can do, you can set up sort of a reciprocal thing. You can say, hey, uh, I would be happy. I would be thrilled to do the same for your book. I call it a, a review swap. We have 5,000 people in this group. I am constantly amazed uh, how many students are using this to their advantage in this very same way and generating dozens of reviews just by dropping a link in the Facebook group as soon as they launch their book. Okay. That's kind of it, right? I, you now know how to research, write, and publish and promote your book and drive it to the bestsellers list in the next seven days. I've showed you it. I've showed you everything that you're going to need to know. Uh, and if you're, by the way, when you're able to do this now, 
because you have the information. When your book is a hit, congratulations, you can start publishing sequels. You can start scaling your business and get some cross-selling actions and get people to you know, buy not just one book, but five books at the very same time. Let's quickly review so that we can cement this information in your brain, right? I think that's super important on a training like this. You now know. We have covered secret number one, how to come up with the best selling idea in three minutes flat, how to load up your children's books with amazing illustrations for pennies on the dollar, and how to publish and launch your children's book quickly and easily and send them straight to the Amazon bestsellers list in 48 hours. So uh, here we are. Let me ask you a question. Again, here's the million dollar question. Another one. Anybody feel like this? Anyone like, holy cow, Jay, that was... TMI, uh, that was a heck of a lot that you covered in 60 minutes time. Anyone, I was looking for an illustration of uh, drinking out of a fire hose. I think this communicates that. Anyone, anyone feel like that? You don't have to. You're not required to feel like that because maybe, maybe you're starting to feel like this cutie here. Maybe you're starting to feel excited about the possibilities. Even if you had never considered this as a business opportunity, you saw how easily they come together. You saw the uh, the income results that I'm making, that my students are making, and you probably have an idea at this point in time that this is not just doable, but this is gonna be a no-brainer for you. Anyone feeling a little excited? Gene says, yep, so excited. Anika says, I do. Yeah, exactly. Well, if if you couldn't tell, I get excited about this too even nine years later, right? Because not only am I enjoying success and earning passive royalties as much as $45,000 in a single month with this very same system, but listen, and again, this is what all, it, this, is, this is where I'm coming from right now. So are my students that I've been showing this very same system too. Like Anna Davis, who, who launched her very first children's book, it shot to number one in two bestseller categories. And uh, she sent me this feedback. She said, I published the book at Christmas time. It's earned $213.25 in profit in only five weeks. Now, I don't know if you consider that to be a lot of money or a small amount of money, but I again, I encourage you to think of this in terms of a business. I encourage you to think of this in terms of creating multiple streams of passive income so that you know you don't just have a single book in a single month making $200 for you. Maybe you've got five books, maybe you've got 10 books, maybe you've got 25 books, and you can start enjoying the multiplier effect of this model. Uh, here's Callie, oh my gosh. Uh, Callie was one of my very first students. She had never done this before, okay? Maybe she's like you. This was the first time she'd ever ever knew that you could make money as a children's book author. She said, I always dreamed of writing children's books. Today, I'm generating between five and $6,000 per month for my children's book sales and thrilled to be able to do something that I love. How would you like to be doing a an online business that you love? Have you, can you say that about what you're currently doing online? Whatever it is. Here's the million dollar question. I, I've got another one for you. What do all of these successful and profitable students have in common? What are they, what's the common denominator with all these students? As you may imagine, um, they took action, right? They, they didn't just uh, you know, sit in on this training here, like here, like we, and logged off and say, oh, that sounds fun. Uh, maybe I'll do that someday. No, they took action on the information that I just revealed to you and they found a simple and duplicatable system that's in that is so important with online businesses maybe you have purchased some programs before and it's like holy cow well who the heck in the world can do that now you know how do doable this is and uh i've got the system for you that will allow you to duplicate my results and my best-selling author's results but let me ask you this question and this is a real question this is not a rhetorical question just based upon the information that i've shared with you here today can you do it? Can you put the pieces together yourself? Maybe you can. Yeah, I can see some people like, no, nope, I don't think I can, Jay, even though we've been on this training for 60 minutes. Well, listen, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been teaching online workshops like this since 2010. And as a result, I can almost read your mind. I can read the mind. I know it's like, uh, it's like uh, I'm a mind reader. I'm a magician. I can read the minds of my attendees. And as a result, I know that you may be thinking something like this. And I know this to be true. 
unfortunately, even if we had six hours together, instead of just 60 minutes time, it's going to be hard, if not impossible, for you to create lasting change and experience motivation moving forward with your own children's book business. And for me to give you everything that I that I absolutely that I know that you're going to need in order to succeed. So, you know, here's the question. What if you could plug into a proven system that literally thousands of other folks have already had success with and have a mentor that you trust that's there for you to help you along at every step? Do you think that that would be that you'd simply be able to follow instructions and model what's already working, just like we've been talking about in order to create a successful result like this for yourself? Do you think so? Yes or no? I can see lots of yeses. Okay, it's like I get into it, Jay. We're almost we're in the home stretch here. And if you are ready for success, please indicate that in the questions box by typing yes. Type heck yeah, Jay. If I have your permission to show you the next step, I feel that's that's only polite. The polite thing to do is opposed to just barging right into it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to what I consider to be my baby. Okay, this is a program that I first created uh, and started teaching to people, I think, in 2014. We've been through several iterations. This is the brand new 2.0 training that I just published to four new members, Children's Book Formula 2.0. So let me just give you some idea of what's inside for you here. The 2.0 core training system. It's everything that you're going to need. It's a complete step-by-step -step system for creating and publishing your first children's books on Amazon, yes, by as soon as this time next week, including the core training. It's everything, how to research. We were only on the stream for 60 minutes today. If you want to dial in, if you want to get the secrets, uh, the trade secrets that, that I share with my students to ensure their success, this is how you do it. Because I'm going to show you how to research, write, illustrate, publish, and launch your very first children's book. You're looking at the members area right here. We just updated it with a new point training, and we have a brand new, easy to follow members area. Value of the core training system. I've purchased similar, I've, honestly, I purchased every Kindle publishing course out there because I am so OCD. I have to know firsthand as a buyer uh, of those other programs that my stuff is better than theirs. Of course, I am telling, I'm here to tell you that that's absolutely the case, uh, but I'm not going to charge $3,000. 997 is the value of the core training system. But listen, I am just getting started here today because in addition to that, you are getting the children's book idea wizard. You saw this mind map. This is an exclusive database of all the best-selling children's book elements going back eight years, the best-selling characters, learning concepts, genres, themes, styles, formats, so that you can kind of mix and match and put them together with that mashup technique that we, like we were talking about. I like to cook and bake, and I look at these as kind of the secret ingredients of what kids and parents are going to love in a best-selling book, and you are getting that as a new children's book formula author. The value of that idea wizard is $300. But you're also getting templates. Templates are so important because they allow me and they allow my students to stay organized, keep everything together. Uh, if you're any, if you're like me, with uh, at the end of a big project, I've got illustrations over here, I've got text over here, I've got marketing materials and data and research. This is how you keep everything together in one place, which allows you, right, which makes this business scalable, which allows you to get these books quickly and easily and efficiently to market. These are going to be so valuable to you and stay on track and stay organized and stay motivated. The value of these book templates is $199, but that's not it because you're also getting software. Push button software. I created this software because this is something that I needed and wanted in my business. I created the first version in 2013, uh, and now I, I think almost $8,000 in the development cost later. Uh, this is a web app, which means that you can use it whether you're on a PC or a Mac, it doesn't matter. And this takes care of the number one most difficult and technical thing that you're going to do. In, or that is required to publish your book on Amazon, which is to format it. If you, I'm not going to get into the weeds with this, but um, it took me like over a week to figure this out myself with my first book. But now in 30 seconds time, you are going to have a fully formatted 
Kindle ebook ready to upload and start making money with within 30 seconds time. I've never sold this as a standalone, but if I did, with all the development that I have into it, I would charge no less than $225 for that formatting software. Last but not least, this may be the most valuable training in the entire members area. Uh, it's a number, an actual number one bestseller case study of a book of mine. Basically, it's a step-by-step over-the-shoulder video training walking you through every step that I did, starting from ground zero with a brand new children's book. I'm gonna show you how to research, write, and publish, launch, and drove that very same book to a bestseller in seven days, again, so that you can duplicate my results in a systematic way, model what I'm doing, you know, step by step in order to create similar results for yourself. The value of that number one bestseller case study, $499. Total value of everything you're getting here today, $2,220. Yes, these are the very same systems. This is it. I'm not just like throwing this over the wall and walking away. This, I'm using this every day in my own business and so are my students in order to generate royalties like this but listen i want you to have every single advantage in the world to succeed with this system advantages that i never had when i first started out but uh, that i know that you're going to need and be able to profit from and that's why in addition to all of this i am about to give you access to another three thousand one hundred and ninety one dollars worth of bonus tools and training and resources to help you get off to the fastest and most profitable start with this model so you may be asking yourself Holy cow, Jay, you kind of just backed up the truck there. What else could I possibly need to get started as, as a children's book author? Well, I know what you need. How about unlimited book reviews? That's right. I'm going to let you into my Apex Authors Facebook group, my private group that you are going to be able to use to uh, ask questions. I'm in there all the time. My team's in there all the time. Access help, get instant feedback, connect with other members, my, maybe find an accountability partner uh, inside this group. This is such an active group. Um, this is where all my success stories start posting their number one best-selling books, get reviews fast, etc. I've actually never charged for this. Uh, it's not available. It's only available to my students. If I did charge, I would charge no less than $297 because it is, it is that valuable. What else might make a difference for you? Well, how about some help? How about some personal help from me? How about logging into a call just like we are right here every single week and getting eight weeks of live group coaching, just like we're talking about here? This is gonna, you think that would help you? <laughs> I know it would. We just had one of these calls yesterday and we spent over a half hour, a solid 30 minutes on a single uh, members brand new children's book help giving them some marketing advice on how to optimize their brand new listing so that it, it converts as well as possible and this is your opportunity if you have a question if you get stuck log in live with me and my team and get your questions answered um, I on a live call just like this I charge a thousand dollars per hour with uh, for a one-on-one -on -one call. And so um, I thought it was only fair, that being the case for, we typically spend 90 minutes on one of these calls. I would value each one of these as $200 per, you're getting eight weeks, a total value, $1,600. How could I help you get off to the fastest start? This is what I'm consumed with, with my brand new children's book authors. Uh, well, I have the answer for you. How about a proven plan to scale your profits? Meaning that, yes, everyone kind of starts out from ground zero. Everyone kind of starts out, uh, you know, not knowing anything until they publish their first book. They get that under the belt. They get some experience and they see that it's not hard. And maybe, maybe you come away with the idea that lots of my students do. It's like, wow, I want to be a full-time children's book author. This is going to show you how to do it. It's how to go from a hobbyist children's book publisher to a full-time income if that's something that you want to do. The value of my GoPro children's book training five hundred dollars what else might help you succeed how about guaranteed book buyers that are going to be uh, on tap for you as soon as you publish your book i showed you this method i showed you this technique 
this idea of getting the free uh, the free book offer offer and I know that some folks that lots of members uh, especially if you are um, lots of my children's book authors are not technical at all they don't know how to set up a landing page they don't know how to connect it to their autoresponder that's why I created this dedicated training it's actually a standalone training of mine called Azon List Explosion I charge $197 for it and you, you are getting it with my compliments here today as a bonus. And the last thing, the very last thing that you'll need, how about doubling your book royalties? We were talking about Kindle eBooks at the beginning of this presentation, but of course you can publish these very same books, the very same content, and create a brand new product essentially in paperback format, in print format, and Amazon will allow you to do it at no cost with the KDP print program. And here's the secret that is absolutely not the case if you're publishing to almost any other genre inside of Amazon. These paperback books sell like crazy with these children's books. I, sometimes I sell 10x, 10 times more the paperback books than I do the Kindle eBooks. You're looking at a, a good month just from my, the print books my print book, children's book sales, over $33,000. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it as well, how to basically double your Kindle, double, triple, quadruple your Kindle eBook royalties in 30 minutes by creating a print book version of your Kindle eBook children's book. This is another program, it's called Paperbacks Made Easy. When I launched it, I charged $497 and had hundreds of buyers, but you are, I'm rolling it into your membership here today because you are subscribers of Alicia and Lorette. Um, I'm going to roll in these st two standalone programs here as a bonus with your investment here today. Anybody getting excited? Anybody ready to jump in here? <laughs> this was, uh, this was I, I, I'm a big Simpsons fan. I thought that that was appropriate there. I think it makes sense to review. Here's everything you're getting, right? You're getting the core training system. The idea was that the book templates, the formatting software, the number one bestseller case study. You're getting access to my private Facebook group, group, eight weeks of group coaching. You're getting my GoPro training and two standalone courses. Total value, $5,311. Listen, by now, I know that you can see the value here, but let's just put this in a little perspective. I always think it's important to step back, put things in perspective, right? What's one successful children's What's a single successful children's book worth to you? I got this question a couple of years ago um, from a student. Her name was Melissa. I remember she, she was kind of cynical. I, I get that, but she was basically wondering, hey Jay, if everything goes wrong, right? What if, what if I don't get a number one bestseller? Where, where does that leave me, okay? And I took that question seriously. I actually went to uh, my, uh, my reporting and I, I was, I was intent on finding my worst selling children's book. And you're looking at it here, my worst selling children's book. This is just the print version, not even including the KDP royalties. My worst selling children's book over a 12 month period, I sold 131 copies. I generated $219 in US royalties, 53 pounds in British royalties. Uh, and, and you can see the euros there. The cool thing about these is that, you know, simply by publishing them once to Amazon, you can get them in multiple at this point i think over 2000 foreign marketplaces i should say um outside the us so almost 300 dollars for my worst selling children's book listen if all this did was to help you publish a single best selling children's book that would be pretty cool right call yourself a best selling author even if you only did it once if all this did was help you generate multiple streams of passive Amazon royalties for years and years to come. Again, if you don't have a source of passive income, this is one of the best and easiest and most fun ways to create. If all this was to help you maybe fulfill a lifetime dream, I know lots of students come to me, this is on their bucket list, they just never knew how to do it. Would it be worthwhile if any of these things were true for you to jump in here today and take action today like we've been talking about? Yeah, have a look at some some of my students, right, were able to achieve using the very same training and tools. I, I told you, Callie, right, this student, one of my very first students, never done this before in her life, five, six thousand dollars per month in royalties. Well, this was a surprise to me, right? I knew Callie was doing well, but I did not know how well she was doing until I opened up the KDP newsletter. This is uh, an email newsletter that Amazon sends out to all their authors. And what did I, what did I find when I opened it up? They had a complete interview 
with Callie um, as one of the best-selling children's book authors, asking her how she got started, how she comes up with story ideas. I told you, she's never done this before, became, before she became a children's book formula author before she became a children's book form, the member, just like what's available to you right here. Uh, here's Antoine. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Antoine um, became a student in January. He says he published his first children's book 21 days later, right? So longer than seven days, right? But three weeks, not too bad. Made a little bit over $400 in his first seven days in Amazon Profit, number one bestseller. Again, what if you had not just one book making $400 a month, but five books, 10 books, 20 books? It starts to add up. This is Brad. Brad is, um, I love Brad's story. He wrote this and published this book, and it, it was so successful. It was called Sun Sun. Uh, he says, I'm a number one bestseller, three different categories. I have 116 reviews. Yes, you can do the same thing. In just 30 days, he says, this system works. Uh, oh my gosh, this was crazy. This is Jeff, this is another student of mine. He said, within a week and a half, I had over 126 reviews from people, including an endorsement from Stan Lee, right? Late, great Mr. Marvel Comics. And I had a literary agent chase me down to represent the books as well. I told you about these ladies before, they're from Australia, $10,000 per month. You taught us how to do it. They're publishing to what I call the horse mad girl niche, another very, another writer downer perhaps, if that's of interest to you. Uh, this is, oh my gosh, this is Billy D. Billy D is an action taker for sure. This is what massive action looks like. He says in our first 60 days, right, first two months, we published close to 30 books and we got 30 more in development. One book made $3,000 in a single month. He said, yeehaw, thank you for the good work. Here's Lydie. Uh, so many of my students are posting these number one bestsellers in the Facebook group. That's where I got this one. That's where I found Lydie. Number one bestseller and new release as soon as she launched her first book. Um, this is JD, number one new release and bestseller. This is BB Mac. Her name is Mary, actually. Her pen name is BB Mac. Number one bestseller in new release. She has a complete series like that now. Uh, Carrie, number one bestseller, new release. This is David. Oh my gosh, this blew my mind. Sometimes I don't get feedback. I know I'm helping my students, but you know, it, this is what this is what you know brings it home for me when a student po makes a post like this. Um, David posted this a couple of years ago on my Facebook. Actually, he said, "I'm closing in." Imagine this. I'm closing in on my first $250,000 in Amazon royalties. We'll most likely hit that goal in the next few months. This is 2017, okay? Quarter million dollars uh, three, four summers ago. I caught up with David earlier this year, and he said, I am almost at a million dollars royalties with your help, Jay. Again, here's the million dollar question. How would you like to be my next star student? Like David, like Lighty, like JD. Well, this is how they did it. This is how they all did it. They were able to plug into a duplicatable system, just like you're gonna be able to right here. This is the common denominator and this is what you're gonna be able to do. So let's get down to brass tacks. I can see lots of people saying, Jay, I am so ready. Please give me the link. Who is ready to take the next step? If so, type, give me a yeah, if that's for you. If you are ready, if you are excited to take action here today and take the next step, give me a yes in the, in the questions box. Thanks for that, Fia, the screen is scrolling. Okay, let's talk about enrollment. By now, I know that you could see this would be an incredible value. If I price the system at $4,997, I just showed you proof that some students are making uh, much more than that in a single month, but no, I would not in good conscience ever charge $5,000. I wanna get this out to as many people as I can because I know the power of it. I know the results my students have had with it and I want you to be able to experience the same thing. What if I charge uh, 1997? I know that's a very popular price point. No, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna do that for the very same reason. What about 997? Okay, now uh, I think that's extremely fair. In fact, I think that's the, the deal of a lifetime. And in fact, this is actually, this is actually the regular price of my children's book formula program. Uh, yeah, it would be an incredible bargain, but I wanna give you an even better heel, he, uh, deal here today. Everything you're getting here, $5,311 value, no way. Because you are a friend and subscriber of Alicia and Lorette, I am gonna give you a huge webinar only special, but I have to let you know that you're gonna have to take action on this 
uh, soon, like as in right now, because this is going to disappear fast. We'll be on here for a little while. I'm going to avail myself to your questions, but if you want to get this $500 discount, that's right, not pay the full price of $997. I know it's crazy as the course creator saying, hey, don't pay full price for my stuff. I'm going to give you a $500 discount. But that's exactly what you're getting here today. But you must take action here now because we will be on here for a couple more minutes. But I have to log off here. I have a hard stop here very soon. So don't wait another minute. If you are ready and excited and thrilled to move forward with this incredibly fun and profitable business model that I just shared with you in Access, all of the tools and training and resources and one-on-one -on -one help from me, you have to take action now. Click on that link in the questions box to access this $500 discount, this webinar only $500 discount, or go to childrensbookformula.com forward slash Alicia. Okay, as I promised, and I intend to make good on this promise, I'm going to be revealing my number one Kindle children's book niche to you. Uh, but before I do, I know that uh, at least she was talking about um, uh, she had she had something that she wanted to mention and, and just put her two cents in on uh, on what she thinks about this program. Alicia, are you there? Of course, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I wanted to say, Jay, what a presentation. Have you guys enjoyed this presentation? Um, I want you to type five in the chat box to give Jay a high five. Come on, the number five in the chat box, give him a high five. Look at all those coming in. Gian, Sean, Victoria, <laughs> Carrie, like a million fives. I know. This, this webinar was absolutely amazing. So thank you so much, Jay. I do have some special bonuses for the first 25 that sign up today. So I'm gonna just take the screen from Jay in just a minute, but I wanna make sure that everybody has clicked on the link. Do you see the link in your chat box? Click on the link. Um, and Michael, Michael Adams, I see your message. Michael says the purchase button isn't working. Can someone else click on that button for me? I'm pulling it up myself, Michael, and just see if it's working. So let's scroll down to the bottom. It worked for me when I clicked on it, Michael. Anybody else having trouble clicking on that button? If anyone can click on that link and just give me give us some feedback, let me know that that's working uh, and let it takes you to this page here. Yes. So if everybody can just type works and you're on that page, do that right now. I'm going to show you my bonuses, but I want to make sure that Michael is taken care of. Raina, can you help um, Anika, please? Can you help on that one? Okay, I'm going to have Raina call you right now and see if she can help you. Okay, David, Angela, you guys are all there and it works for you. Michael awesome. Adams, try again for me, please. Maybe check your browser, try it on Chrome. It should work on any browser, but Michael, try it again. And um, okay, so let's, let me, get, let me show you guys my bonuses because I was so excited. I'm still so excited about this webinar. And I learned so much myself as well. I have three pages of notes front and back. It was just so exciting. And I learned so much. Um, and everybody here knows already how to order on Fiverr J. Like we're all Fiverr superstars. So I know that everybody is like, yes, Alicia and Lorette taught me that. I am gonna do well with that. I'm stealing the screen for just a minute, everybody. So give me a second here to show my screen. And then I am going to show you these bonuses that Lorette and I put together. Okay, so let's look at the, these bonuses really quickly. And if you have any questions, type them in the comments box. Raina and uh, Jay are in that, those comments box, so type them in. Okay, so the first bonus that we have, and I, I'm really excited about this one because Carrie Ann Watson, who is the master at creating book covers has agreed to do this master class with you guys. She's actually on watching with you. She was on this whole entire time. 
I'm going to tell you more about her in, in just a minute. But the last book that I had created on Amazon, Carrie Ann actually did my cover for me. So she is going to teach you in our Creating Book Covers Masterclass how to create the perfect Kindle cover for yourself with a free tool, how to create a print book cover. And that is how do you create the front, the back, and the spine? And then she's going to show you how to create a free 3D mock-up for your book using a free tool. But listen to this. Here's the bonus. We're also going to talk about how to make money creating covers for clients. Because if you've heard me talk about Carrie before, I'd have to get the updated number. But I know a few months ago, Carrie had made over $6,000 a month creating book covers for clients. So we're going to have a two-part um, a class here with our creating book covers masterclass. How many of you guys are excited about this bonus? And again, it's for the first 25 that sign up. I think I said 20, but Lorette just said make it 25 because we want to keep the masterclass small. So if you haven't signed up yet, push it, go, 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 go. Um, Niche says I'm in. I know this bonus is really good because it's a two part bonus, but we've got another bonus. Now, did you see how Jay went to Fiverr and showed us those illustrators and designers? In fact, he mentioned that there are over 20,000 illustrators on Fiverr. So, what Lorette did was Lorette compiled our best illustrators and designers. And she put them into a spreadsheet that you will get. So now you don't have to go searching through, even though Jay showed us how to do it, you don't have to go searching through all 20,000 to find the best ones. Just look at who we recommend and check them out. So you don't have to search and hire, you just hire our top picks. And all you have to do is open up the doc, review the pricing, see what they can provide, and you can hire with confidence. We call this our little black book of illustrators and designers. Do you guys like that one? <laughs> Do you like that one? That is um, such a cool bonus. Holy cow. Yeah, I know. I'm really excited about this one. This is what we're known for. Like for the past decade, we have really dug into Fiverr and taught people how to sell on Fiverr, work with Fiverr, buy on Fiverr. So of course, this is a natural one for us. Um, and now, um, Niche, I see that you said you are in. Congratulations. Gian Dempsey, I see you say you purchased. You are in. Michael, oh, it worked for you now and you just purchased. Welcome, Michael. I'm glad to see that you are in as well. Um, Crystal Rose, you are in as well. Okay, okay. Um, Anak Wood, yes. Okay, I'm going to mark you down as well. So Raina is keeping track of our first 25. So if you're in, type I'm in in the comments so that she's got you and she'll reply back that she's got you. So these bonuses are for our first 25. Mary, Mary, do you pronounce your last name? Little, L-I-T-E-L, Lytel. <laughs> Uh, everybody always says I'm like towel, but it's little. That's what they say. Okay. So Marshall, you did it. You are in welcome. Welcome Becky Moore. Becky was looking for more opportunities to make money online and she did it and got in. Do you like how I use your last name, Becky? Becky, you need to use like that last name in a children's book title. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I like it. Um, Tanya Campbell is in welcome Tanya. Uh, Marshall is in. Welcome, Marshall. Marshall. So, Becky, yes, great idea. I know, Becky, I like your last name. You need to use it. I, I even like your first name in a book. But, um, Mary, you said your light tail. I don't know, Mary. Okay. Shireen is in. Shireen is in. Sue Ann, you want the link again? Jay, can you copy and paste that link one more time just I for... Sure. Sue Ann, and we'll just make sure everybody has it again. <laughs> uh, Mary, we'll talk about your last name again. All right, so let me recap on these bonuses. I see somebody saying go back. All right, let me go back to the first one. So this one right here, the Creating Book Covers Masterclass, 
This will be sold by Carrie after this is over for $4.97. So it's like a buy one, get one free. <laughs> so this is Carrie Ann. Um, I'm going to interview her and she's going to teach everybody. She does this live with you. I have seen her do this before. She, I can create ebook covers and Carrie took my design class and then the student outdid the teacher 10 times over like she is way better than me I am so proud of you Carrie Ann so I asked her I'm like can you teach the first 25 people who come into this program how to create their own book covers it's you know you can get the illustrator to illustrate the designs that you're going to put on that front cover now now what do you do with it so it's what she goes into is okay pick the book size you want here's the template that you need to use here's how to line it up boom bam create your spine create your back create your front put your name on it like she is so good at it you guys are gonna love it so how to create the perfect kindle cover how to create a print book cover that front back and spine and how to create a free 3d mock-up this is the mock-up where you'll have like your book cover then you'll have it on an iPhone or a Kindle. I should have put an image of it on here. You guys know what it looks like, I'm sure, but it's an amazing 3D mock-up. Um, and then Carrie makes money doing this for clients. Hey, I paid her. So how to make money creating covers for clients. For her, it's a $6,000 a month side gig. So you got two gigs, like you're gonna be making money doing the children's book cover, that's passive income. And then if you wanna offer a service, you can do this as well. And, you know, if you want the creative process of designing your own covers, you got it. And then the little black book of illustrators and designers. Thank you, Lorette, for really this idea and pulling it all together. So that's going to be a lot of fun for you guys as well. This alone is priceless. Now you've got illustrators and designers lined up. Like, you know, you know exactly who to hire. So again, your bonus pack. Um, the Creating Covers Masterclass. In that Masterclass, your bonus is creating the book covers as a side hustle. That class, again, will be $4.97. So you get it free only here, only the first 25. Then the Little Black Book of Illustrators and, and Designers. So how to redeem. Um, Jay is going to send us the list of who purchases, and we will email you your bonus pack. You know our email address if you need support, the help desk at Little Sisters support.com little sisters support.com so if i missed you say i'm in in the chat say i'm in in the chat so we can write down your name say i'm in in the chat and then let's go back to the form right here the children's book formula so this is the five $500 discount that you guys have. Jay, thanks for doing that for everybody. Did you guys appreciate that? I know that you did. I know that you did. And thank you, Lorette and Raina, for pushing that from Jay. Okay, Mary says, I'll be in in a minute. It's processing. Okay, perfect. We got you down, Mary. Who else? If you're in, type I'm in in the chat box. If you need help signing up, if you need any help, type help in the chat box so that we can help you. So you're going to fill out this form right here and um, type complete order. You do not need a coupon code because Jay just deducted the 500. So, you know, to just to make it easier and that <laughs> no one would make a mistake. And he goes over everything that you're gonna get in the program there. And then you can click add it to cart and add it to cart. Just a few things I wanna say, I know Jay has got to run. So, um, Barbara, you've been trying. Let me see what trouble you are having. So Raina, if you can write down Barbara, and Barbara, if you can tell us a little bit more about the trouble you're having, but Jay just replied to you. So try what he sent you first. Um, I loved what Jay said in the presentation. There were so many takeaways, but I love when he showed that big board book and he's like, okay, 100 units, $4 royalties, $400 a day, right? So multiply that by a month and then add 10 books, <laughs> right? And that so, was just the Kindle ebook version. That's not even the paperback version or the hardcover version because that's, you can turn, you can turn a, a single Kindle ebook into four or five different products. And that's when that multiplier effect really starts kicking in, so. Crazy, right? How many of you, heard him say that and started doing the math 
type money money and I commented that is you like he was talking about that and you like me I wrote it down a hundred units four dollars royalty four hundred dollars a day and then I was like huh you know 32 days 10 more books 20 more books 30 more books who started doing the math Harold Harold said it first I know you did Harold Harold's like money money who else started doing the math and then um, another thing that I really liked that I, I want to make sure you guys all heard this because someone, you know, if you're in marketing, like, like I am, this was a big, oh my gosh, amazing bonus that he threw in. He said, you know, when he was talking about his Facebook group, I'm like, boy, I wish we were in his Facebook group. And he talked about the review swaps and how there's 5,000 members in that Facebook group. So, you know, you have access to this Facebook group where you can get unlimited book reviews and do book swaps. And I really loved that. I thought that that was a amazing bonus. How many of you guys agreed? Type one in the chat box if you agreed with me that that was a, a great bonus. One, 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 yeah, Sean said, yeah, that was a really great bonus as well. So before we run, I want to make sure, Tanya, you like that as well. So before we run, I want to make sure that we've answered all of your questions. So if you have a question, type it in to the chat. Um, type your question into the chat. Barbara, are you now able with the with Jay's response? Are you now able to get in? I want to make sure you're in. Um, yeah, Niche says that book review swap is powerful. It really is powerful. It really is. So I want to make sure that you guys are good and in, and I'll pass it back to Jay in a minute to see if he's got any closing remarks that he'd like to make. But I want to make sure that everybody who wants to get in is in, and we're taking count of the first 25. So Sue Ann, are you having trouble with the link, Sue Ann? I want to make sure that I get that to you. Uh, Mary, I'm in. Good job, Mary. You got in. You got in. Okay, Sue, let me see. Hang on one second. Let me see what trouble you are having. Sue, are you on your phone or on your computer? Let me try. I'm just sending you. Um, and Shirley, you're trying to purchase as well. So, Jay, can you see Shirley? Um, I sure can. Surely, Shirley, okay. I'm sending you a link behind the scenes, but uh, what I recommend that you do is try open up a different browser and uh, either copy paste that link or just type it into a new browser. It might be a browser specific issue. Uh, it, that URL is childrensbookformula.com forward slash Alicia. So I, I think you're going to have success in a different browser, uh, whether you're on a, on a, uh, a phone or, or a laptop or, or what have you. And please give me feedback and let me know that that works for you, okay? Because we're going we're gonna to do whatever we can to make sure that you get in tied and you're able to access this $500 webinar-only discount, okay? I, I'm asking Raina to help you, Sue and Shirley, with something really quickly. Um, I see anybody else having trouble? Um, Sue and Shirley and Barbara, we're not getting off till I make sure that you guys are all good. So let's make sure that you guys are all good. Who else needs help? Sean said it's fine on Google Chrome. Okay, Sean. So you're all good. You are in now, Sean. I want to make sure that Raina has your name on the list. And thanks for telling us that. Yeah, Google Chrome. It's like the trusted browser right there. Um, so... Barbara, you didn't hear the bonuses. I'll repeat them like as quickly as I can. We've got two bonuses that we threw in as if Jay didn't have enough bonuses, <laughs> but we've got the Creating Book Covers Masterclass. And this is where Carrie Ann Watson will show you how to create book covers. My latest book on Clubhouse, which is on Amazon, was created. The cover was created by Carrie Ann. She is a master at this. So she's going to have a master class and you'll be so proud of yourself that you can create your own book covers. So it's helping you to lessen the cost of, you know, outsourcing a cover creation. Although while she's on that master class, she'll be teaching you if you don't want to do it. Of course, you can always hire the teacher to do it for you. <laughs> and then she's also going to show you how she 
is making covers for clients and making money um, with it. I was so proud when she told me she had made $6,000 in a month doing it. That is amazing. So she is on here listening to everybody, listening to the names that I'm going to call out that'll be in that masterclass. And then the second, was it Barbara? I was repeating it. Yes. The second one, Barbara, is where Lorette has put together a sheet of all the illustrators and designers that she recommends. The little black book of illustrators and designers, you will get that as a bonus. So you'll get that as a bonus. Um, let's see, Tanya, I'm going to get Jay to give that to you. And then any other questions? here uh let's see anybody else have any other questions let me make sure we've got everybody covered sean thanks for telling us it's link is good to go all right who did i miss who did i miss michael says thanks so much jay where do we start so elaine says i'm in welcome elaine Good job, Elaine. So Elaine, we've got you down. You are in the first 25. Um, but yes, let's let's answer. I see you typed it to him, but say it out loud to everybody. Michael's like, I'm in, I purchased, where do I start? <laughs> you start at the beginning, start in module one, just log into the members area and it's all laid out for you super clearly. Uh, nothing is left to the imagination and start in module one and start going through the training videos. Congratulations, Elaine says, I am in. Michael is in. Let me know if you're in as well so that we can make sure that you're gonna be able to access the first 25 bonus in addition to that $500 discount here today. Shireen, congratulations. Becky, Barbara, Tanya, Michael, William, uh, Marshall, Gene, so many folks logging in, and uh, I just want to say I'm so excited for you. Becky, Elaine, uh, Mary, so many folks jumping in here today, and I want to, um, I want to, I have an extra special bonus for you as well. Are you okay if I talk about that um, before we, we log off here, Alicia? Absolutely. I sent the presenter controls back over to you. Thank you so much share my screen let me get back to my slides here okay can anyone see my screen you should be looking at a slide with a uh a disembodied hand hold, holding up a kindle reading <laughs> device here if you yeah. guys can see that say yes i can see it can you guys see it make sure it's showing on your screen say yes 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 <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Great. So listen, I actually have some more to share with you and I have a bonus as well. A first 25 bonus of my own. Just if you're sitting on the sidelines, if you're waiting for, you know, to the very last minute, if you want me to sweeten the deal even more, I am about to do that. Um, and I'm also going to be sharing with you my number one Kindle children's book publishing niche. I, re I am always, always amazed that more people are not publishing to this niche because it is so lucrative. But it's also kind of, uh, uh, I'll tell you about it in a sec, but listen, before I do, for the first 25 people, as I mentioned, you're going to get an exclusive bonus case study training of mine above and beyond everything that I've uh, already shared with you here today, which I call, for lack of calling it something better, how I sold 936 children's books in just 48 hours. And just to let you know, this has nothing to do with having an email list of buyers, like that strategy I told you here today. It has nothing to do with free eBooks. These are all 100% uh, paid book sales, almost a thousand of them that I was able to do in a thousand in, in over the weekend for the first 25 people. And I have to mention this as a caveat here. I just checked my shopping cart and uh, I know this is, I said this is for the first 25 people, but there's only eight spots left here today. And so if you want to access this first 25 bonus, Alicia's first 25 bonus and this $500 discount, I urge you don't wait another minute. Click on that link in the questions box or go to childrensbookformula.com forward slash Alicia and you're going to be able to access this special bonus. Let me give you a little bit more information because uh, it, just to get you even more excited than you already are, okay? And by the way, everyone who's already purchased, everyone who's already enrolled here today is going to get this special bonus. Um, this is kind of an underground book promotion strategy that I discovered uh, not too long ago. 
and uh, as I said, within 48 hours, I it I, I generate almost a thousand sales. This is what happens when you generate almost a thousand sales inside of Kindle. I was uh, I was number two on the Big Dog Children's book list. I was I was outranking and outselling Harry Potter and Hunger Games and Wimpy Kid. I almost made it to the top 100 of all best-selling books on Kindle. I saw it before I went to bed. I took the screenshot 158. Who knows? Maybe I made it when I was sleeping. Uh, inside of KDP, they give you some cool. Uh, sales reporting and data and this huge spike. I think this was like 16 hours later of employing this strategy that you're going to get as a special bonus here today. I had sold 769 books and look at the spike there in sales. Yeah, this single strategy, no joke, can pay for your entire investment in children's book formula here today. And yes, it works for any other Kindle ebook out there, but it works like crazy for children's books. First 25 people, there's only eight spots left. And so uh, it couldn't be more urgent than it is right now to jump inside if you were waiting, sitting on the sidelines. I hope that this is just the thing to sort of push you off the fence and into the warm waters of children's book publishing, but you have to take action now. Click on that link in the questions box or go to childrensbookformula.com forward slash Alicia. Okay, before we log off, and if you have a final question, let me know, but I wanted to uh, make good on this promise and reveal to you my number one Kindle children's book niche, and I'm always surprised that more people are not publishing to this because it is so incredibly profitable. It's called the reluctant reader niche, and if you're not familiar with that term, I wasn't actually either until I went to a, a conference, and I think I was on my third book and my best-selling children's book series and I was talking to someone, another author in the very same space and he's like oh yeah it's the reluctant reader niche I was like oh good to know thank you um, but let me if you know Diary of a Wimpy Kid if you know Captain Underpants if you've ever read a book like that with your son or grandson then you know the type of, of books that these are um, they're funny they're gross out they're humorous they're wildly illustrated uh, and the primary demographic is similar to that joke book demographic we we're talking about mostly boys uh, age seven through 10, eight through 11, something that's right in the pocket. And this is why it is so exciting. Um, these kids are basically, uh, these are kids, many of whom uh, can't read, don't read, maybe they have a, a learning disability, maybe they hate their third grade teacher, who knows, okay? But they love, love, love these funny, kind of gross out, uh, super humorous books um, that especially for boys, uh, re they really dig. Um, a little more information about this niche. This is the age, and this is kind of where it's, it's, it gets so exciting as an author, and I didn't know that this was gonna be the case. This is the age when kids start reading for pleasure, right? They've got phonics, and they've got a vocabulary down, and this is when the light bulb goes on over their heads. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen for all kids, but, and they, they're like, holy cow, you mean I can read a book and entertain myself instead of, you know, sitting in front of zone mountain in front of the TV for three hours or, or playing a video game. Yeah, this is when the light bulb goes on and they start reading for pleasure. And I get emails telling me how much they love these books from kids all the time, but it's not just kids. And this was a surprise of a lifetime for me as a children's book author. It's not just kids that I get email, emails from. Uh, because teachers are reaching out to me, reading specialists are teaching are reaching out to me, speech therapists, uh, special ed teachers are reaching out to me, and they're all basically saying, "Hey, uh, my kids, these kids won't read anything, but they love your books. Thank you for it. So, thank you so much for writing them. Keep them coming." Here is one of them, actually. Michelle uh, sent me this email. She says, "I'm a special ed teacher. Just read and listened to it with one of my fourth grade boys. I love it." Here's Judy. This is a grandma. She says, "I'm 72. My grandson and I laugh so much when reading your books and funny stuff. I can't wait to read them. The new one when I pick them up on Wednesday. Keep them coming." Here's another one. This is from. Oh gosh, this is a woman I know only as Z. And uh, Z wrote me this. She said, "I recently read." Uh, your book with an eight-year-old boy and was blown away. I've never read a better book about bullying. Well played. Here's a, sort of another little secret. Um, if you're, As long as you're, you're not beating kids over the head with a message, capital M, uh, you can insert a little message on the sly and get some traction on it. This particular book had an anti-bullying message, uh, but of course it was disguised as a funny gross out book. And so that was all cool with the kids. Anyway, so Z says, uh, the reason I bring my love to your attention is that she runs Fancy Pants Theater. She ran this children's book 
a theater company, and she said she had this date reserved at the Kalamazoo Valley, uh, Children's Museum, and she wanted to adapt one of my books for the stage. And she said it would be my honor. And she actually sent me this. I couldn't believe it. She sent me this. Um, it's not a manuscript. What's it called? Uh, um, a play? Anyway, she had she had adapted my children's book for the stage and was asking my permission. I said, absolutely, send me a video. I want to see it. So uh, my point is there is there are so many more benefits that you are going to discover as a children's book author that may not even occur to you right now but will absolutely blow you away when it happens. Uh, these are emails I mentioned. You saw the ones from parents and teachers. This, these are from kids. Here, Lisa says that was awesome. Morgan said, ha, 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 ha. Yasin said, thank you for, for your wonderful books. Cameron says, you are crazy. Well, I may be crazy, but here's, here's the question for you. How would you like to receive fan mail like that for your own children's books? Yeah, I mean, it's so much fun to open up my inbox and see fan mail like that, but, but the, the problem is, for most children's book authors, that is not even possible because Amazon's not going to give you the email addresses of all your book buyers. The only way that I got those emails was because they were replying to that free offer that I sent them via my autoresponder. And they, they just hit the reply button and like, oh my gosh, this is so great. But you have to get them on your list. That's why it was so important to include this uh, standalone course so that you're going to be able to get fan mail and email messages from your readers as well. Again, uh, this is a standalone course. I, I sell it every day for $197. You're getting it here today with my compliments, but you have to take action. Click on that link or go to in the questions box or go to childrensbookformula.com forward slash Alicia. Any questions? Any questions? Let me know, type it into the questions box. I think we've answered a ton of them, a ton of them. Barbara, uh, I'm gonna send you an email behind the scenes, and this is to my support desk, okay? If you're having any issues, support, at, I can't talk and type at jjfast.com. <laughs> I, I don't know why, I still can't do that. Uh, support at jjfast.com. Aaron's over there right now. If you're having any issues enrolling, uh, if you're having any issues actually getting into the members area after you become a member, then send a message to Erin and she can help you out. That's support at jjfast.com, okay? Great, and if you have a question, let me know. Let me know, let me know. Jay, this was amazing, amazing. <laughs> I just wanna update you and let you know that Shirley said that she's in. And um, Ricky says, I'm in too. So we've got other people coming in. So welcome everybody. And if I missed calling out your name, can you do me a favor and say, I'm in, in the chat box. And Sue Ann, did you get through? Shirley, I, I see you got through. So I'm happy that you got through. Um, Carrie Ann was just saying that that niche, her son buys all of the books in that niche. So that was really awesome as well. Um, Ricky said, I can't wait to get started. Let's see, Lamantha, can you answer Lamantha, Jay? I didn't know if you had something for her, so I just put that there. Um, Hi, Lamantha, I, I, I can help you out with that. I'll send you a special link behind the scenes, okay? Yeah, it's not available uh, typically, okay. but I've, I've got it. I got you covered. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Uh, let's see. Anybody else have any other questions or did I miss I'm I, any I'm ins? Uh, Niche says, I have ideas for my first book this weekend. I know. How many of you have ideas? Like your brain is burning and you're like, oh my gosh, this is exciting. Jay, it really is. And, you know, I know, Lorette knows, we've talked about this, that for years you have been known, I don't know, for a decade. I don't even know how long, but when it comes to children's books and getting people started in this niche, it's always been you. Your name is the one that all everybody always talks about. So I'm really excited that you presented here today. How many of you got so much value here from Jay today? Can you just say me in the chat box? Because let me tell you, he over delivered on the value. You went live all these websites you taught us so much in that that period of time i can only imagine what you're going to teach us in that course isn't that true everybody like 
Carol says, loved this. Nitch uh -huh. says, me, great value. It was, it was great value. And I'm really excited um, that everyone had the chance to, <laughs> to join and that you said yes to coming in and training everybody. So, hey guys, last chance, Jay has got to run. Make sure that you are in really quickly before we go, childrensbookformula.com forward slash Alicia. Jump in, jump in. You're gonna be learning from Jay Boyer, the man himself who teaches and is known in this industry for being the expert at really how to start writing and profiting from children's books. So Niche, where do you find my bonuses? So Jay in a few days will send us the list of everybody who purchased and then my team will send you all of your bonuses. So we'll send you the registration to the masterclass which will be live and then we'll also send you the little black book of illustrators and designers, okay? So give us a few days to get the list of everybody um, and then we will send it to you and you will have all of our bonuses. And again, if you need anything, help desk at littlesistersupport.com, help desk at littlesistersupport.com. Barbara, Raina is calling you. She might be on the phone with you now. So she's making sure she can help you. Sue Ann, did you get through and anybody else need help? Last call for help, type help in the comments, type help in the comments or ask your question and do me a favor, tell Jay as we let him go, he can see all of your comments, tell him what you thought about this presentation, tell him what you learned or if you're just so excited for the knowledge that he dropped, write it in and let him know how what you felt about his presentation. I felt empowered, I felt way more knowledgeable at the end of the presentation. I felt excited about the future. Raina is messaging me saying that her daughter, Emma, was watching the presentation and she's gonna get in and start doing <laughs> children's books. I'm sure Lorette's daughter, Ava, like imagine not just doing this for yourself and for the money, but imagine doing it for your kids. Like imagine creating a children's book with the story that they tell and putting their name on it. Imagine doing that for them. That is amazing. That's, that's really building something for them. I don't care what age they are, but imagine really doing that for them. Um, that, that's just great. So Mary says it's a, Jay is a wonderful guy and the presentation was great. And I plan on really using his help. Um, Nitch says this is incentivized me to get going Tanya says, Jay, this has been a meaningful presentation that it has given me hope for my situation. I love this. Mary says, I almost became a teacher. So this is right up my alley. <laughs> so I love that. I love that. So, so thank you, Jay, for coming here today and being on with us. Is there anything that you'd like to say as we wrap up? Well, my gosh, the first I'd like to say congratulations to everybody jumping in here today i cannot wait to see you in the facebook group i can't wait to meet you on next week's live training it's going to be next wednesday 1 p.m don't worry if you can't make it we'll record it all we'll send you the recording um, i am so excited for you and i am so excited and committed as i always am to helping you go everywhere that you want to go be everything that you want to be with this brand new business uh, because it is so much fun and it is for real. And uh, congratulations to all those folks. And I wanted to thank uh, I want to thank you guys, Alicia, Lorette. Um, this is it's been so much fun uh, presenting this information, this opportunity uh, to your folks. And I just want to say thank you so much for having me. <laughs> well, it was our pleasure and thank you for saying yes and coming on. So I'm going to keep the chat box up. Rain has asked me to keep it up for a few minutes, but we're going to say bye to Jay and thank you. Thank you so much for being here, Jay. Totally over delivered, totally blew our expectations. Just boom, right? So we're really excited um about it and everybody here that's so excited about the opportunity congratulations to you if you jumped in you made a great decision so thank you jay and goodbye and for those of you who are here stay on if you need any help i know reina's on the phone with barbara right now anybody else need help 
type it in the chat box. Just two more minutes. We're going to have this chat box up. Make sure that you are, I just want to make sure that you are good to go. No one left behind, right? We don't leave if anybody needs help. So if you need help, say it and say it now. This is your final warning. <laughs> yeah, Jay, Steven is wondering, uh, what's that? I said you couldn't leave. I said you I couldn't leave. It was but... just so much fun, you know. I was <laughs> I, I messaged my my wife while uh, as we rolled past the two hour mark. He's like, I'm going to be a little late, hon, and and uh, I'm happy to do it. Um, Stephen is wondering, uh, are there any of those first 25 bonuses? Just FYI, before we log off here, the answer is yes. But you have to take action now. There's only three of them left. Okay, we're going to hold the door open for you. And I'm, I'm actually willing to say, even if we roll past 25 here, if you're on the call, you're in the process of, of, uh, of, of placing your order, we are going to make that available to everyone. If you can hear my voice right now, make sure that you get inside on that first 25 bonus uh, and Alicia's as well. But um, we're going to be logging off here soon. I'm jumping off now, and uh, this is definitely your last chance. So don't wait. Click on that link in the questions box or go to childrensbookformula.com forward slash Alicia, lock in those bonuses and that $500 discount before it goes back up to 997. That is the regular price. Uh, it's, it, you're getting the discount here today, but if you're, if you're still on the fence, you got to jump off because we're logging off here. So Alicia, thank you so much. Uh, this <laughs> was so you. much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Victoria, you said you need help. What do you need help with? Lamantha, I wrote your name down. So just make sure that you finalize it, but I did write your name down for that. Um, Victoria, you're, you're sending an email. You thought your order went through. Um, let's see. So you thought your order went through. Let me see if I can. Jay, are you still with me? I no. am. I'm looking oh. for uh, Victoria. Okay. Ooh, I'm checking my shopping cart right here. Stand by. Victoria, you wouldn't be Vicky uh, Calcagno, would you? I think that is her. Is that you, Vicky? Let's see. If so, you are in, and we got gotcha. you. Yes, that's her. Okay, got you. Yay, you are <laughs> in. Uh, but Victoria Aka is wondering, can't get on the because finance. Okay, I'm sending great. her a message. Thank you so much. I'm sending her a message. So let's see, any other questions? Anybody else need help? So Lamantha, you're gonna finalize that. Um, Tomo, let me see. Uh, that's Tomo and Lamantha, Jay, the last two. Got okay. it, got, got it. it, I got Tomo. I'm sending you a special link behind the scenes. Please don't share that. Okay, so Tomo, I'm going to stay on to make sure that you're good with that and you can fill that out. Um, Victoria Aka, I'm sending you a message as well. Lametha, if you scroll down below the one one time payment, you will see what you're looking for, okay? You see, you'll see both options on that page. And I'll send it to you again behind the scenes here. Okay, everybody, I gotta, I gotta jump off. Uh, take care, congratulations to all new members and um, I'll see y'all next Wednesday on, on the live training. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, everybody, Tomo and Lamantha, I wanna make sure that both of you are good to go um because i gotta run too so let's make sure both of you are good to go tell me if you are now tell me if you are now i am going to uh, let's see i have it tomo you're good to go ricky you're welcome lamantha are you good to go now yes do you want to finish that and I can make sure Tomo and Lamantha that you get your email and all that good stuff? 
let me stay here for two more minutes to make sure that you guys, everything works as you're filling out the form. Anybody else need anything? Boy, I have so enjoyed this training. Like, whoa, I know Jay is off right now. And so I can say this to you guys as he's off. Like, that was a fire training. We invite a lot of people to come on and teach, especially when we want to learn a new topic. And we have met a lot of really amazing presenters in our lifetime of being, you know, of doing this. But that presentation right there was so detailed. It had so much information in it. He went above and beyond in teaching. I don't know how he taught us so much in such a little period of time, but I, I feel like I walked away with that so much smarter, um, <laughs> right? So let's see, Heather, you've been trying, but no luck. So hang on one second. Tomo, let me look for what he sent you. I think I can see it. Um, I wonder, I'm trying to copy it. Let's see. Um, Raina, that link. Um, no, Raina, look up at the link that Jay sent Tomo and Lamantha. Lamantha needs that link again. Okay, Tomo, got you. Heather, what is your email? Are you on your phone right now or are you on the computer? Are you on the phone or on the computer? You are on the iPad and you're having trouble with the link. What's your email? Let me see. Tell tell me what email, and I'm gonna see if Raina can send you an email. So Heather, send me that. Um, okay, Raina, are you able to email Heather the link real quick? So Heather, hang on. Did you try to open it up in a browser as well, Heather? childrensformula.com forward slash Alicia. Just want to make sure. Um. So you opened it on your laptop and your iPad, but you're having trouble. Raina, can you just confirm? I just wanna make sure, since I don't hear you, that you're sending Heather an email. I'm doing it right now, Alicia. Oh, I'm sending there you, you are with that right voice. Now. Thank you. Okay, let me make sure. All right, Heather. Heather, before we get off, once you check your email after Raina sends it, can you make sure that you've got it, that we've got it? All right. All right, who else needs help? I see we got a bunch of people still on here. Anybody else need help? So Tomo, you're working on it. Lamantha, do you have the link now? Do you have the link now? Confirm that with me.
All right, who else needs help? If you need help, type help in the comments, help in the comments. Okay, you did get the link via email. Click on it, Heather. Tell me if you're good to go now. Um, Janice. I believe you are. I'd have to double check, but you already purchased, correct, Janice? Lamantha, did you scroll down? Yes, Janice, you're good then. You are good. Heather, so Heather, you clicked on the link. It worked now. All right, so I'm staying on to make sure, Heather, that yours goes through. Is Barbara still on? Um, Raina, can you let Barbara know that she purchased twice, but Jay is gonna refund the second purchase? I will let her know. Okay. He asked me to make sure she knows. Okay, Lamantha, you did, and you still don't see it, Lamantha? Let me type this in, hang on. Right, hang on, Lamantha. And I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to see what you see, Lamantha, to see where you might be having trouble. And what browser are you on, Lamantha? You're on your phone, right? Let's see what you don't see. Um, so Lamantha, look where it says, it says first name, last name, email address. Choose a pricing option. And you see the second one? Can you click on that and tell me what happens? Alyssa, I need to go to xe.com. That's usually what I use for conversion. So let me convert it. Uh, let me convert it really quickly. Um, Heather, you got through. Yay, Heather. I know, what a great deal. You guys cannot pass up this deal. If you're still listening, I know that's because you know that, right? You're like, oh my God, I cannot pass up this deal. So Alyssa, you want me to take it from US dollars to Jamaican dollars and tell you how much it is in Jamaican. So I'm trying to do xe.com. Heather said it was awesome. I am so ready. I know there's so many parts of that program that are unbelievable just the illustrator part it just motivated and inspired me to do this for other things that i do too you know it's not just i don't know it was just a really great presentation i'm really happy that that he came on reina i just want to say thanks for you know behind the scenes making sure that you know he came on and we had him as a presenter this week so i just wanted to say thank you even though you're, you're muted. I'm so muted all me. the time, sorry. You're so <laughs> very welcome. Happy to be here and to help. <laughs> Everybody appreciated, I know I know they did, so thank you. Uh, let's see, Alyssa, I'm converting 497 US dollars is 74,354 Jamaican dollars when I convert it. Ani, that's fine. Can you keep the link handy, please? And we'll email you as well. 
Alyssa, you are welcome. And Alyssa, um, Raina, can you send the link that you sent to Lamantha to Alyssa? Alyssa Allen. And Alyssa, look at okay, the this you. look at this link and click on look at the choose payment option. So when Raina sends it to you, I want you to just tell me if you see it. Okay. So uh, actually, do I have you on WhatsApp, Alyssa? Alyssa. Every time I look at your name and I look at the pronunciation, I'm like, that looks like Alicia. Is it Alyssa or Alicia? Uh, no, I don't have you on WhatsApp. I thought I did for some reason. Uh, Carrie, thanks for the compliment. Yeah, Carrie says, thanks for having Jay on. Great info on the learning path. Always be learning. Oh, it's Alyssa, not Alicia. Okay, gotcha. So Alyssa, can you look at that link Raina sent you? Are you able to click on it? No, okay, typing it out. All right, let me make sure that you can get to it. All right, let's see who else. Um, all right, Alyssa, waiting on you. And then I think I'm gonna, all right, are you good with that? Does that help you out? Tell me if you're good with that. I think that might be the solution for you, that link. Yes, you're good with that. I knew it. I knew that would be good for you. So that is it. Now that Alyssa is good, we can all go. <laughs> so thanks everybody for coming. I hope that you really enjoyed this class. And hey, when we send out the replay, do me a favor, share it with a friend who really would love to have another stream of income. So make sure that you share it. Sharing is caring. And I will see you next week on The Learning Tube. Thank you guys so much. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Raina. Bye. Bye, yeah, everyone. Jay, you, on, Jay, you were awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, Raina. Have a great day.